So welcome everybody to our start of uh, Dragon Age Origins. This is the first of the Dragon Age games. Uh, if you don't know, uh, Dragon Age 4, which is called Dreadwolf, is supposed to release here at the end of the year. And so I'm planning on doing a complete franchise playthrough. Dragon Age 1 and 2, I have played these games many, many times. Inquisition, I played like the first couple hours and then just never touched it again for whatever reason. Uh, and if you don't know, Dragon Age Inquisition won Game of the Year at the Keeley Awards back many, many years ago. So it's a very good game. Uh, generally speaking, Dragon Age 1 and Dragon Age 3 are considered the best. Dragon Age 2 has mixed reviews, uh, mostly in part of the smaller scale and the fact that a lot of people feel like it was rushed out. So, back a year or so ago, I streamed Mass Effect for the first time, and I introduced a lot of people in my community and the SOTOR community to one of BioWare's other great games. There's so many people that just, for whatever reason, never played some of the other BioWare games. So yeah, I'm like, yeah, hey, take a look at Mass Effect. Mass Effect's incredible. It's my number two game of all time. And I know a bunch of you jumped in and played it for the first time, and you're like, yeah, this this series is absolutely S tier. It is amazing. And so I'm hoping to do that again today with Dragon Age for those in chat or on YouTube who are going to see this who have never seen it before. Uh, this is, again, when Bioware was firing on all cylinders, making some of the best games out there. Now, to try and make some comparisons here a little bit, when you look at something like Mass Effect, you know, you are playing Commander Shepard. It is a third-person shooter RPG all the way through the entire series, but just game after game, they just refine it and make it a little bit better, a little bit better. Dragon Age is a little bit different. So, in the first Dragon Age, you are playing a complete custom character, you can name it, whatever you want, so forth and so on. Same with the third game. In Dragon Age 2, you are playing a named character named Hawk. Uh, you can still do full customization and choose a class and all that, but you are playing a named character. The other big thing that changed in Dragon Age, uh, and again, as I mentioned, Mass Effect was the same all the way through, just better every game. Every single Dragon Age, the gameplay is different. So in Dragon Age Origins, it's a mix of SOTOR and KOTOR, the combat. So you have the ability to like pause, do tactics, go back into the action style combat, you're hitting abilities, so forth and so on. For Dragon Age 2, they turned it more of it into like an ARPG, almost like Diablo, to where literally as fast as you hit the button, your guy is attacking. And then for Inquisition, that is when a lot of games started to get very Witcher inspired. And so Dragon Age 3 is kind of like Witcher Dragon Age, if that makes sense. It does copy the Bioware formula of decisions matter. And so your save game files will transfer to Dragon Age 2, and your decisions will copy over to Dragon Age 3. So again, it can be a thing where you decide to kill a companion, let's say, in this first game, or maybe you don't recruit somebody or whatever, that does carry over to the other games as well. So that is uh, very, very cool. Uh, I'm trying to think what else I want to mention before we get started. The reason what that is called Dragon Age Origins is actually kind of similar to stuff that is done in Baldur's Gate 3. So if, I know a lot of you have seen and or played Baldur's Gate 3. So it's like, oh, I'm going to be a bard. And because I chose bard, I'm getting unique dialogue, unique situations. The same thing goes to Dragon Age Origins. When you choose your origin, the first about hour of the game is different for every origin. And in some cases, there's even male-female differences. And then as you go through the game, you'll run into different situations where, based on your origin, you will see different things. And here, in a little bit, uh, 
chat, you guys are actually going to get to pick the origin you want me to play. Uh, I'm going to pick the class, but you guys get to pick the origin. Which is pretty cool. Uh, I will also mention that this is an Xbox 360 game. Uh, all of the playthroughs that I've previously done have been on the Xbox 360, so this is the first time I've actually played it on PC. And because it's a 360 game, it was kind of designed for 720p. So if you're playing at 4K or basically anything above 720p, the interface is really small. And so I've had to mod the game pretty well. I am running a mod to make the game look better. I'm running a mod to make elements of the interface bigger. Uh, I'm running a no helmet mod. Uh, I'm running a mod for just making like the text overall like bigger, better. I can adjust it, stuff like that. I'm trying to think what else I modded. And I did look into Dragon Age 2 because I because uh, I'm already like jumping ahead a little bit. Uh, and I was like, okay, what do I got to mod for Dragon Age 2? And I, actually, I don't think I have to mod anything for Dragon Age 2. And then for Dragon Age Inquisition, once we get to that game down the road, I think I'm only installing one mod, and that's the War Table mod, which we'll worry about that later. But I think with that, it's time to jump in and check this game out. We'll turn off the uh, Baldur's Gate music here. Here we go. Let's fire it up. Bum, 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 bum. The War Table mob, uh, mod is 100% needed. Yep. It has to do with timers and stuff. Like I said, we'll, uh, we'll talk about that once we, uh, once we get there. Bum, bum, bum. The music in this series is great. Another thing that we've talked a lot about here recently, even with Baldur's Gate 3, when I was doing like my review for that, I talked a lot about companions. And one thing that the Bioware games are amazing at are companions. And this game is no different, or this series is no different. All right. New game. I'm sure a lot of you are very interested in the lore for this game. This lore runs deep. There's a lot of books about this game. Uh, actually, there's even a Netflix uh, series uh, for Dragon Age. The Chantry teaches us that it is the hubris of men which brought the Darkspawn into our world. The mages had sought to usurp heaven, but instead they destroyed it. They were cast out, twisted and cursed by their own corruption. They returned as monsters, the first of the Darkspawn. They became a blight upon the lands, unstoppable and relentless. The Dwarven Kingdoms were the first to fall, and from the deep fall. roads, the dark spawn drove at us again and again until finally we neared annihilation. came. Men and women from every race, warriors and mages, barbarians and kings, the Grey Wardens sacrificed everything to stem the tide of darkness and prevailed. It 
It has been four centuries since that victory, and we have kept our vigil. We have watched and waited for the Darkspawn to return. But those who once called us heroes have forgotten. We are few now, and our warnings have been ignored for too long. It may even be too late, for I have seen with my own eyes what lies on the horizon. Maker, help us all. That's right, the old Maker. One very, very important thing I forgot to mention in my opening chat. Very important. If you were to ask the uh, very hardcore, very dedicated Dragon Age fan base, they will tell you that the only way to play this series is by playing a spellcaster. And there are reasons for that. Not so much in this game, which we will see it a little bit, but in this world, magic, there is a, a thing which I'm not going to like talk about or spoil too much. But definitely in Dragon Age 2 and 3, if you don't play a spellcaster, there's certain things that will not happen. Not that it's right or wrong, but I'm just for anybody who's looking to play this, just a mental note. Uh, right now, I am not planning on doing a spellcaster in any of these three games. All right, chat, you guys got to make a, a couple choices here. First of all, uh, are we doing a human, an elf, or a dwarf? I will be doing a male. Uh, I'm doing a male in uh, Dragon Age 1, female Dragon Age 2, male Dragon Age uh, 3. We'll try and get a majority vote here. And of course, the first three, dwarf, elf, human. You guys are not helping. <laughs> like I said, I'm going to pick the class and then based on what you guys choose, you guys also get to choose the background. So yeah, like I said, the race background combination is your origin. And about the first hour of the game is different based on the origin. And then like I said, uh, throughout the rest of the game, you'll see differences based on, on that. Uh, while you guys are voting, a couple other quick things I'll mention. Uh, you'll definitely hear uh, a bunch of very familiar uh, voices in this game. Uh, I will mention that Kate Mulgrew, uh, if anybody knows who she is, a.k.a. Captain Janeway, plays a major role in this series. Uh, you might actually, you might also hear some other uh, Star Trek alum. I forget, I know that Jennifer Hale is always a Bioware go-to person. I forget if Jennifer Hale's in this game or not. So, Teresta, you have to choose one. You can't say any race. you got to be like our tiebreaker. Right now, we have two elf. Kate does uh, an incredible role. So, now we're, uh, okay, now we have three elves. Three elves, two humans. I'm going to give you guys like 60 more seconds if anybody else wants to vote. Okay, I think that's four. Let's see here. One, two, three. Okay, I think human has it. Another nope. Devotee. Hey, DVD Haas, how's it going? What class am I going to play? I, I'm choosing the class. You guys are choosing the race in the background. Game is so good, the music bring yeah, the music in this series is incredible. 
Will you explain why you are not being a magic person? I feel like, so if I do magic, then I got to do magic in all three games, I feel like. So I don't want to do that. Actually, I've never done that. But I just, I feel like showing the game for the first time to so many people who haven't seen it. I want to go non-magic. Do saves carry through the games? Yes. Yep. <laughs> Tiefling, I wish. F actually, funny enough, uh, in the later games, you do get some more options. I think in Inquisition in particular. And there is actually a race that is very similar to a Tiefling. Funny enough. Okay, I think... Hold on, I'm going to have to alt-tab here for a second, which is going to make things go black. Uh, this game, because this is an older game, it doesn't have proper... Um, you know, video options here. I got to count our... So elves, we had one, two, three, four. And then humans, we had one, two, three, four. So we're tied four and four. So we need somebody to be a tiebreaker. Elf or human. And then you guys got to make it another decision off of that. So we need like one more vote. Okay, so human it is. Um, wait. You'll switch to elf. So that puts elf over by one, right? <laughs> okay. Um, I think I will be a warrior. Uh, I'm not doing a mage and I'm not doing a rogue. Um, because I'm gonna do, I'm 100% doing a rogue in Dragon Age 2 because rogues are fun as hell in Dragon Age 2. All right, next decision, everybody. We are playing an elf. Are we playing a Dalish elf or a city elf? That's three for city, one for Dalish. All right, I think City is going to win this, probably. Okay, some people want to know what the difference is. So, there is a little bit of a blurb here, but... Uh, so, the Dalish... Basically, you can think of, of the Dalish Elves as the, the traditional Wood Elves. Where the City Elves are... You have always lived under the heavy thumb of your human overlords. Let's just go with that. That little blurb. So either a traditional wood elf or you're under the overlords. I think city pretty much has this one. Because yeah, it's one, two, three, four, five versus two. Okay. So we are male, city elf, uh, warrior. And then within the different classes, there's subclasses. So it's like, oh, I want to be sword and board, or I want to dual wield, or I want to be, you know, a, a ranger type. So uh, there's, there's like subclasses, but we just can't really see those yet. Greetings. All right. Let's do a little bit of customization here. Let's see. The default look is not bad. Can I hey, make you have like blue or green eyes? Wise, cocky, experienced, 
Uh, let, let's do, um... I have lost concentration! No, I don't like that. Greetings. Well, that didn't work. Eh. How do you do? Oops! There, not even a scratch? Charm, I'm sure. Ah! There went the spell. This weapon does nothing. Greetings. I have lost my concentration! This weapon does nothing! I think we'll do mystical. Okay. Let's go all the way to bald here and look at our hairstyles here. The hairstyle we had wasn't bad. Again, it's very uh, elvish. That's not bad. It's not bad. Oh, yeah, I think that the Dalish have uh, tattoos and the city elves do not. I, th If I remember correctly, it's been a while. You know, that's like a very traditional uh, elf uh, hairstyle. I think I want to stay with brown. I'm actually kind of okay with that. Don't really need to mess with the features at all. I'm cool with that. It's neat that you can actually mess with the portrait. I think I'm I'm okay with this. Um, I'm gonna rename my my guy though. Will be uh, Koss. Okay, D and D stats. So I don't, I'm not a hundred percent sure what kind of warrior I want to be just yet, but strength con, pretty standard for a warrior. Do I want to play a tank? That's the question of the day. Do I want to go sword and board? Or I could go like a ranger type. Well, actually, if I was going to go ranger, I would have went I should have went rogue probably. So, I'll probably either do sword and board or two-hand. We'll we'll figure it out later. Let's do that. Let's do uh 17 into strength. Okay. Okay, um, and then I can choose a couple of, like, starting skills here. Combat training. Uh, poison making I'm not doing. Herbalism, survival, trap making, stealing. Combat tactics. Let's see here. Improve combat training. Warrior and Rose gain access to second tier weapon talents. Yeah, we should probably do that. We'll, we'll put my one point into that. Your character is influenced enough to uh, convince other characters to change their views. Uh, maybe, maybe we should go into some dialogue options. Oh, actually, I already have that. I'm not going to be stealing. I'm not going to be trap making. The character can detect the presence of nearby creatures below the character's own level. Eh. Yeah, I'm not doing that. Okay. So this is kind of... Okay, so yeah. Warrior, dual wield, archery, weapon and shield, two hand. I kind of have to make this decision now on what I'm doing. Let's go sword and board. Uh, I don't play a lot of tanks. So I think we'll do that. We've got shield bash, shield defense, and shield block. We'll take shield bash. And then what is, uh, I'm not doing dual weapon. Then what is this up here? The training and hard work the warrior has gained, uh, greater health and reduced fatigue penalty for wearing armor. Um, yeah, sure. That sounds about right. Obviously you'll get to choose more of this stuff as you level up. Okay. Normal's fine. Denerim, the largest city and capital of Ferelden. Long ago, the elves lived as slaves to humans, and though they've been free for many generations now, they are far from equals. Here they live in a walled-off community known as the Alienage, working as servants and laborers when they can. Despite these hardships, Denerim's elves are a strong people who take pride in their close community. 
this is the only world you've ever known. Until now. Wake up, cousin. Why are you still in bed? It's your big day. Huh? What? Did I oversleep? Yes, your father and I figured you deserved it. You do remember what today is, don't you? Someone's wedding? A double wedding. You're getting married and so is Soros. That's what I came to tell you. Your bride, Nessiara, she's here early. Already? Well, I guess I don't have really a choice then. <laughs> That's the spirit. Well, sort of. All right, I'll stop tormenting you. I should go talk to the other bridesmaids and find my dress. Oh, Soros said that he'll be waiting for you outside. So move it. Gee, I, I forget. Are you my sister? I forget. Alright. Kind of like a billion... It's it's like when you've uh, been playing SOTOR for a billion years and you uh, make a new character and you've got a 200 uh, in your mailbox. It's a, it's a problem. Of course. Uh, I have so much stuff. I don't know. I don't think I want to take everything. Do I have to? Is this? What? Wait, what did that say? Oh, inspect, use, destroy. No, I don't want to do that. Can I drag this? Do I double click on it? Uh, with the deep. Okay. Well, I'll come back to that later. Good morning, my son. It's your big day. Oh, I wish your mother could have been here. Hey, Fred Tabascore, how's it going? Me too, father. Well, uh, what should I be doing? All right, time for you to go find Soros. The sooner this wedding starts, the less chance you two have to escape. Don't worry, I'll be fine. Oh, one last thing before you go, son. Your martial training, the sword play, knives, and whatever else your mother trains you in, best not to mention it to your betrothed. I shall find out sooner or later. Later. Definitely later. We don't want to seem like troublemakers after all. Adaya made that mistake. But I'm like the sword, the best sword in the city, father. You know, mother was a great warrior. Yes, that she was. Take this. Your mother would have wanted you to have it. It's the very least I can give you as you start your new life. Go on, then. I still have some things to do, and Soros is no doubt waiting for you. Huh? Okay. Kind of... I forget if this has, like, stuff in the environment that I gotta find. Wait, can I pet the cat? I can't. There uh, once was a woman. She lived in the sea. I... Good... <gasps> Good afternoon, my friend. What's a good word? You're drunk. Go home. It's a wedding, isn't it? Hooray! Woohoo! Yeah! Hasn't started yet. Jeez. Oh, that's right. This game is tabbed to highlight stuff. I wish my wedding could have been as grand I as all this. Whenever I look, I this is grand. The mother sure. is far more delicate. It's the well, it's the lucky groom himself. Hello, dear. Now, love, he probably doesn't remember us. Oh, of course. I'm Delwen, and this is Gethon. We were friends of your mother's. We haven't seen much of you since. Well. Father never mentioned you. No, he wouldn't, I suppose. Adiah was beautiful and full of life and a bit wild. She wanted you more than anything. It's sad she never got to see you all grown up. We just wanted to see you today and express our good wishes. Any friend of mother's is a friend of mine. It means the world to us to see you happy. We've saved a bit of money for this day. We'd, we'd like you to have it. 
to help start your new life. It's very generous of you. Maker bless you. Yes, all this maker stuff, yes. I see Shiani's celebrating already. Where's she at? I want to go talk to her. Is she drunk? The place is locked up tight. Many blessings, young one. We hope to stay for the celebration, but we must be off. You're not staying for my wedding? I wish we could. The human who owns our building has decided to sell it for storage space. We can't afford to live anywhere else here, so we're leaving Denerim. Where are you going? The Ostagar ruins. The army camp there is calling for laborers. We wanted to look for work in High Ever. But that's just not possible. Well, why not? Moving to a different alienage isn't easy. Travel and bribes cost money. Humans are a suspicious lot. Mm. I've heard the ones in High Ever are worse than here. Yeah, indeed. Down with the humans. You know, you can stay at our place for a while. All three of us in one room with you, your father, and your new wife. Are you crazy? What my husband means is, you're very generous, but we don't need charity to solve our problems. I understand. Good luck to you. Many thanks. Again, blessings on your day. Wait. Can I talk to you a moment? Of course. I apologize for my parents. They're too proud to accept help, much less ask for it. My parents will labor in the army camp, and they'll expect me to do the same, but I don't like the idea of being surrounded by human soldiers who haven't seen a woman in months. Well, you're not wrong. What's some money help? Of course, but I can't imagine anyone here has much to spare. We'd need another three silvers to make it to High Ever. And if we got another ten silvers, we could rent a house here. Maybe one large enough to start a business. But <laughs> that's just dream talk. Nobody has that much money, and if they did, why would they give it to us? You should see all the gear I have in my trunk. I'm just saying. Uh, I don't even know how much money I have. Uh, here's ten silver, take it. Where did you get this much money? Never mind. I'm sure not I talking literally about just got this. it from Thank the other you. people, I think. Thank you so much. You saved my family. I love you. Now I just have to handle the parents. Yeah, how much money do I actually have? Um, oh, now I only have five silver. Okay. Actually, is this gear... Oh, okay, it is here. All right, cool. Might go ahead and just equip myself. That's leather. Uh, put that in there. Plus five to health regen while exploring. One to armor. Fifteen to nature. Res oh, uh, okay, that goes there. Um, that requires twenty-six decks, which I don't have. The Dalish Promise Ring. Uh, three to con since I'm being a tank. One to armor penetration, one to all stats. The memory, uh, I'm not sure what the memory band is. Six to defense. Wait, what was this one again? I think I'd rather have the six to defense. This to oh, I forgot about tomes in this game. That's right. Uh, I will use that later. Also, can't I put the healing thing on my bar down here? Yeah, I can. Yeah, I'll just scooch that over there. So I'll just mention here real quick, chat, uh, just some of the mods I'm running. So, like, all of the interface being big like this, that is a mod. The way that I have my action bar set up here at the bottom, that's a mod. So, yeah, I'm, I'm using a lot of mods to try and, like, make this a little bit better. Because it was designed around a, a controller, so... Uh, and again, I'm pretty sure the map is bigger because of a mod. I wanted to try and find a mod for the mini-map. There isn't one that I can find. Because I wanted to make the mini-map bigger, but I can't find a mod for that. Uh, anyway, which way am I going? Uh, this way. Good luck with the ball and chain. <laughs> Jeez, that's not very nice. Oh, this is Soros, the other guy that's getting married. Well, if it isn't my lucky cousin. 
<laughs> Care to celebrate the end of our independence together? Ah, uh, don't worry. I'll be fine. That's easy for you to say. Apparently, your bride's a dream come true. Mine sounds like a dying mouse. Is it the memory band an EXP boost? I, I don't remember. I have no idea. I'm sure she'd be quite nice. Great. I'll spend the next 50 years with a nice girl who hides grain away for the winter. Let's go introduce you to your dreamy betrothed before you say I do. New screenshot? What? Why are we taking screenshots? That seems kind of weird. Alright, so he's back the other way. Hello. Let go of me. Stop, please. It's a party, isn't it? Grab a whore and have a good time. Whoa. <laughs> Filthy humans. Savor the hunt, boys. Take this little elven wench here. So young and vulnerable. Touch me and I'll gut you, you pig. Please, my lord. We're celebrating weddings here. Silence, worm. I know what you're thinking, but maybe we shouldn't get involved. I won't let these humans abuse our women. Fine, but let's try to be diplomatic, shall we? What's this? The two grooms come to welcome me personally. <laughs> you need to leave at once. Ha! You hear that, Vaughn? Ha! Do you have any idea who I am? Uh -oh. Are you insane? You you this is Vaughn Orion, the Isle of Denerim's son. What? Oh, make her. Take him home. If you don't mention this, we won't. You've a lot of nerve, knife ears. This'll go badly for you. <laughs> oh, I really messed up this time. It'll be all right. He won't tell anyone an elven woman took him down. I, I hope so. I should get cleaned up. Is everybody else all right? I think we're just shaken. What was that about? <laughs> Looks like the Arl's son started drinking too early. Um, <clears throat> well, let's not let this ruin the day. Uh, uh, this is Valora, my betrothed. And your companion is, uh... Pleased to meet you. Soros has said so much of you. <laughs> Some even positive. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get me in trouble, Nessiara. We'll leave you two alone now. Well, here we are. Are you nervous? I was until I saw you. I... I'm speechless. I hope I'm worthy of your affection. Come on, cousin. We should let them get ready. We'll see you two in a bit. Don't disappear on us. Or we'll hunt you down. <laughs> what? Don't look now, but we have another problem. What do you mean? Another human just walked in. Could be one of Vaughn's or just a random troublemaker. Either way, we need to move him along before someone does something stupid. Right, let's go talk to him. I like option three. Let's just kill him. We don't know who he is. Let's just kill him. Are we going down the dark path? Duncan is a certified badass. Yeah, I'll take option three and see what happens. Let's do this quickly. Hmm. Good day. I understand congratulations are in order for your impending wedding.
Do you have any business here, human? I do. I believe, however, that I may have already found what I was seeking. Then you'll be uh, leaving, I assume? I'm sorry, but I have no intention of leaving. Uh, fine. Uh, maybe we can compromise? He keeps his composure even when facing down an unknown and armed human. A true gift, wouldn't you say, Valendrian? I would say the world has far more use of those who know how to stay their blades. It is good to see you again, my old friend. It has been far too long. You know this, human? May I present Duncan, head of the Grey Wardens in Ferelden. What's a Grey Warden? They are a great order of warriors, child. Sworn to protect our world from the Darkspawn. But my question remains unanswered. Why are you here, Duncan? The worst has happened. A blight has begun. King Kaelin summons the Grey Wardens to Ostagar to fight the Darkspawn Horde alongside his armies. Yes, I had heard the news. Still, this is an awkward time. There is to be a wedding, too, in fact. So I see. By all means, attend to your ceremonies. My concerns can wait for now. Very well. Uh, children, treat Duncan as my guest. And for the Maker's sake, take your places. Please, do not let me interrupt further. We shall speak more later. Yeah, funny enough, uh, Future Boy said uh, he's the Obi-Wan Kenobi of this game. I was going to mention that you can basically compare the Grey Wardens to the Jedi. Yeah. Uh, also, I'll just mention here real quick, we have a bunch of people in chat who have never seen this game before. So just make sure nobody's spoiling anything. If you do, I'll time you out. So, just a warning. Alright. Let us begin! Oh, Saurus. There you are. I was afraid you'd run off. No, I'm here. Fellow groom in tow. Good. I'm so pleased to finally do this. It looks like everyone's ready. I'm excited. Perhaps it won't be so tragic after all. Friends and family, today we celebrate not only this joining, but also our bonds of kin and kind. We are a free people. But that was not always so. Andraste, the Maker's prophet, freed us from the bonds of slavery. As our community grows, remember that our strength lies in commitment to tradition and to each other. Thank you, Valendrian. Now let us begin. In the name of the Maker who brought us this world, and in whose name we say the Chant of Light, I... My lord, this is oh, an unexpected surprise. Sorry to interrupt, Mother, but... Uh... <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm having a party, and uh, we're dreadfully short of female guests. <laughs> My lord, this is a wedding! Ha! If you want to dress up your pets and have tea parties, that's your business. But don't pretend this is a proper wedding. Now, we're here for a good time, aren't we, boys? <laughs> Just a good time with the ladies, that's all! <laughs> Let's take those two, the uh, one in the tight dress, and... Where's the bitch that bottled me? Over here, Lord Vaughn! Let me go, you stuffed shirt, son of a... Oh, I'll enjoy taming her. And see the pretty bride. What do we do? Hmm. Nothing unless you have any ideas. Ah, oh, yes. The uppity runt that thinks he's worthy of speaking to me. Don't worry. I'll return whatever's left in time for the honeymoon. You have no right to do this. Every time a knifeier says that, it makes me smile. Back to the palace, boys. 
<laughs> Can you hear me, cousin? Are you all right? Oh, Maker, what happened? You took a good headshot. They roughed up a few others, too. Vaughn took Shiani, Nessiara, Valora, and the rest of the women in the wedding party back to the palace. The Elder is talking to Duncan, that Grey Warden. Everyone is getting upset. Of course they're upset. I can't believe this. <laughs> Me neither. We should see if we can help. They're by the tree. Only if I had a weapon. I would end this right now. Please, all of you, listen. I know you are upset and with good reason, but there is nothing we can do right now. He's right. Running after them will just make matters worse. So we do nothing. They took my sister. We should go after them. Normally I'd counsel patients. Unfortunately, stories about the Arl's son and his appetites are most disturbing. We need to do something now. But what can we do? We're talking about the Arl's palace. Even with the Arl and his knights gone, it'll be guarded. Elder, may I offer a suggestion? I work inside the palace. I could sneak one, perhaps two others in through the servant's entrance. Nobody will notice an extra pair of elves looking around. We could be in and out before anybody knows the difference. I'm with you, of course. But if we run into trouble, we won't be able to talk our way out of it. For that, you will need weapons. Allow me to offer you my own longsword and bow. A man should be able to defend his loved ones properly. You're a fighter, Duncan. Why don't you come with us? I fear I cannot. Trust me when I say my intervention would cause you more trouble than it would solve. Then your path is set. I pray the Maker looks on it with favor. You're all insane. The guards will burn our homes down around us. Enough, Elva. You had your say. They shall try. For their own honor and the honor of the women. We must trust in the Maker. I'll make sure the way is clear. When you're ready, meet me at the alienage gate. Inventory and equipment. I know how this works. Thanks, game. Oh, uh, is spacebar on pause? Oh, is it wanting me to actually click on stuff? I already have, I have a helmet and that's all I need. It's trying to teach me how to play. To unequip drag, uh, okay. Fine, we might have to actually, like, do this. You mean this? So now I'm in my underwear. Where's Where'd my clothes go? Oh, hey there. Okay. Oh, what do you want me to do? Uh, place items in your quick bar. Uh, so, okay. Sorry. I didn't realize I was, I was jumping ahead of the tutorial before. See, now I have it in here twice. I'm gonna unequip that. Okay. Cool. Alright. Let's head towards the- wait, did Duncan give us weapons yet? Well, he's standing over here. You made it. I sent word ahead to get the servant's entrance unlocked. Are you ready to go? Uh, actually, hold on one second. Hurry. We can't risk someone noticing and locking the door. Uh, I haven't saved yet, so let me do, uh, let's do a hard save here. Did Duncan give me a weapon? Oh, okay, I, okay, I do have weapons. Alright, cool. Uh, where the, that goes over there. Hey, friend. Uh, dagger for you. That's all we got. Oh, there's a cross. Oh, actually, he gave us a bow, didn't he? 
I guess sorting by weapons. Actually, you wanna, I'll be melee, you be ranged. There we go. I don't know if I wanna give you the good boots. Okay, now we're ready to go. You made it. I sent word ahead to get the servant's entrance unlocked. Are you ready to go? Yes, uh, shouldn't we find a change of clothes? I've got some things. You can change on the way. Okay. Nobody's gonna notice this giant sword that I have. I wouldn't give that guy anything he reeks of classic red shirt guy. I, honestly, I don't remember what happens, but I completely agree. Oh no. Are, oh, we're jumping into combat. Yeah, so you can pause the game and you can issue commands. The other thing you're able to do is, and I gotta find it here, I forget exactly where it is. You can actually program your NPC companions. Oh, you can you can also directly control the NPC companions, which I won't do. Um, but other than that, I can unpause and then just come in here and let us end this quickly. We'll get you. Get myself into this. I don't have any abilities for this I configuration. Think watching out for us. Leveling up. Thank you. I'll figure that out. Oh, it's not gonna let me, is it? Okay, I'll level up. Oh! Huh, I don't remember this at all. I knew there were, like, kind of subclasses, but I don't didn't really remember that. Uh, let's go... Two into Strength, one into Con. And then, let's put a point... I need a shield. I don't have my shield yet. Uh, I don't want to put a point into two hand because I'm not going to use it. The warrior tries to make each attack count, sacrificing attack speed for bonus to attack. Sure, I'll take one of those. My uh, buddy didn't level up. Very well. Oh, here's a shield. Okay. Well then, we don't need this great sword anymore. I'll take the mace and the shield. There we go. Now I can actually do things. What do I have on two? Dual weapon sweep. Uh, take that off my bar. I'm not going to use that. Okay, shield bash, and we got the strike. Cool. Hey, dog. Bork, bork. Bork, bork. Yeah, my buddy here didn't level up, did he? Oh, he's not even getting an XP, I don't think. I gotta find it here. Uh, which menu is that under? Oh, actually, no, it's probably up here. Character records, spells and talents, skills, inventory. I was gonna try and find this tactic screen just to show you guys. If I can find it. Oh, here it is. So yeah, so I can go to Saurus here, and I can do, uh, like, these presets. So like... And again, I might not, uh, have everything that I need. But I can be like, okay, uh, I want you to do this. So there's, like, all these things you can, like, program in to your, uh, party members. I'll, I'll probably do that later once we get it deeper into the game. We got trouble. So I can I can pause here for a second. I can switch over to this guy. I can say target him, and then go back to my guy. I am ready. Of course. Sit down, nerd. Uh oh, they got a dog. Very 
Pause for a second. By the way, chat, is the uh, game sounds too loud? If it is, I can adjust. I just want to make sure that he's attacking the right target. Don't recognize this area of the game. Yeah, it's the uh, City Elf starting area. At your command. Got a guard over here. Don't you run away. And clear. I'm down to like half health. Do I want to... Oh, I guess I am healing. You do heal out of combat. Okay, cool. Hello, friends. Nobody saw that. We've snagged an enemy dog. You have forced my hand! Man, I need a taunt. So shall it be. Yeah, the the Mabari are actually like really good dogs. I have to go to the door back there, but I'm actually just exploring right now. Make sure I'm not going to miss any loot. I think we're probably... Oh, can I go in the... Oh, wait. This is the service entrance, right? This is it. There's a guard posted inside, but he's usually drunk or asleep. Where do I find Vaughn? He might be in his quarters, the north side of the palace. Will we get any help in there? Maybe. But don't think every elf you see is your friend. Plenty of bootlicks would sound the alarm for a pat on the head. Where would they take the women? I don't know. They'll be entertaining Vaughn and his men, I imagine. Alright, let's -a go. Good luck. Keep your wits about you. Let's see what's inside here. All right, buddy, you ready to do this? Let's do another, uh, I, I need to, uh, do the set up, like, quick save at some point. I forget, is there a sneak? Hmm, vapors. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm using a bunch of mods. Intruders, sound the alarm. I don't know if I can do this, cousin. It will be done. Now you see true power. That's for Shiani. Hit him again. That's some way better armor. I think my I think I'm like good to go for heavy armor, right? Pretty sure. Any other loot around here? Again, when you play so much Baldur's Gate 3, I'm like, do I need to check all the bookshelves? Hello? Lots of nice food you got around here. Speaking of bookshelves. Oops. I guess all the loot is like glowy in this game. 
Ah, man. We need a rogue. I don't have the ability to lockpick this. Can I bash this? Nope. You there. Who are you? Speak quick, worms, before I call the guards and they clip your nasty ears. Whoa. Uh, we're just new servants. New servants? The last thing this kitchen needs is more disgusting elves stealing silver and spreading their diseases everywhere. Wait. Why are you dressed like that? You're bandits, rebels, outlaws. The guards will make quick work of you. Oh! You've no idea how long that Shem's had it coming. Good job, friend. <laughs> Option three. That was murder, sir. I would never do that. Even though I've already killed like 12 guys. Um, have you seen a group of uh, Elden Maidens? They took the women you're looking for to Lord Vaughn's quarters. You should hurry. He's not known for his kindness. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm getting out of here before the storm hits. So I wonder if I would have had my other clothes on. I wonder if that conversation would have gone differently. It may have. I'd, uh... What's in this room? More loot. Elf root. Of course. We got some rat poison. Poor elves don't deserve such treatment. I know. Where did you get a weapon, elf? Uh-oh. You better talk quick, scum. So again, if I would have unequipped all my weapons and walked through here, maybe that's a better, uh... Uh, I found it nearby. I was bringing it to the armory. Is that so? An unlikely story, if I ever heard one. You maggots are gonna die slowly! And you have a bad mustache! Careful! That was yeah. close! Let's try and focus our fire here. Okay. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Stop, 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 stop. We gotta, we gotta focus our fire here. I need you to target this guy. Yes. Okay. Cause you're, do you have any health potions on you? Oh, no, this is party inventory. I forget if I can... Okay, uh, I want you to... You know what? I have a... Hold on. Hold on a second. Can I... Can I give you a second weapon set? Switch to dagger mode when a guy is on top of you, and then do this. Where shall I strike? Uh. Okay, okay, okay. You're you're hurting kind of bad now. Let's use one of these heals. Uh, use. Okay. Yes. Okay. Now I need you to switch back over to uh, crossbow mode. Target this guy. Quick. As you say. Leave us alone. Yeah, humans. Leave us alone. Let's end this quickly. All right, clear. Got a short bow on him. Oh, good. More healing potions. Another dagger. Are you set up for dual wielding? give you two daggers. Maybe I do want to give you these boots. Okay. Uh, hold on. Let's go back to you for a second. What kind of damage does this crossbow do? This does eight. 
And this bow does five. Okay, so the crossbow is better. Okay, okay, okay. What's this little room over here? Actually, no, let's do this room first. Smaller room. Hello? Ooh, wine. I'll take that, thank you. It's an iron ring that actually has some stats on it. Well, little buddy here. That's under accessories, right? Um, oh, here it is. Give that to you. You may not want to give him anything. Uh, yeah, I, um, I'm okay with it. Like I said, I don't remember what happens to him, but. I know that he's probably not a permanent party member, but that's why I'm giving him, like, the little stuff. Plenty of loot to go around. Hey, come back here. Regret this. Get it. Okay. Of course. The shards of lifestone are infused with magic. Crushing it gives the user a small bonus to cold resistance. Huh. This looks like a little room over here. As you say. You have forced my hand! Are you hitting your shots back there? That's what you call a finishing move. Delirium. Hey, we found that armory. Holy cow. We're gonna be decked out now. All right. This is all leather gear, but it's still better than half the stuff I'm wearing. Uh, boots, helmet. Hey, here's some uh, armor for you. You want to take, uh, actually, you got better boots on. Take this helmet. There we go. Cool. I am using a mod that auto hides the helmets as well. Auto save. Of course. Uh oh. What's going on in here, fellow guards? Well, that's one less elf breeder in the world. A shame, though. Nice body on that one. She's still warm. How picky are you, anyway? Whoa. Shut it, you two. We've got company. You just walked into the wrong room. You know how this works, boys. No witnesses. All right, again, let's focus our fire here. I hate this fire! Oh, that's crazy! Oh, Actually, I'm going to pause here for one second. Uh, screen's going to go black. I just need to alt-tab out here for a second. Again, old game not having proper uh, video settings. Okay. Continue. I forced my hand. Why ah! you human ah! alone? Ah! Okay. I wasn't able to see my volume mixer. I do want to turn this down a little bit. I think it is a little too loud. Um I'm gonna like slowly adjust this to where it's uh dialed in correctly. Ah! You'll pay for what ah! 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 Okay. 
One second here. Oh, he auto switched. Very smart game. This is this is when games started to come out, and you're like, "Good job, game! You auto switched him from uh, uh, range to melee. Awesome." You should have fled. It will be done. Uh, combat does kind of ramp up in this game. Oh yeah, 100%. Like this, this is like as basic as the combat gets. It gets way more chaotic later on. We'll get you. They, they killed her. I can't believe this. We need to save the others. And we should hurry. A few moments could make the difference. We should try to be quiet. Hey. I want to know, it keeps pop- you guys can't see it because I'm hiding it. It keeps popping up a new screenshot. Why- why is it taking screenshots? As you say. This guy has a belt. A belt, you say? It's got plus four to attack on it. I'll take that. This was the right way to go, right? Mm. But no, I think okay, yeah, I, I came in that door. I gotta go this way. Four foes approach. We did it. We're okay. Wait, wait. Let them come to us, or not. I need a charge ability on this guy here. Jeez, took his head off. And you weren't even an experienced fighter there, Saurus. Holy mackerel. Dude's crazy. I'm gonna turn this down a little bit more. Just a little bit. Let's go back to, uh, we gotta check all these rooms here. As you say. Help. It will be done. As you say. You'll pay for what Bob did, human. This is Kill All the Humans Day. This will not end well for you. Oh, is it? Am I, um. Do I keep turning this on and off? Uh, I mean, it has a cooldown. I'm not sure. Ooh, dog bone. So you guys are saying there is an option for, um. Oh, the game the game automatically takes screenshots of what it considers special moments. Oh, is that what we're talking about? It will be done. Oh, yeah, we don't need to be doing that. That's under here. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's, that's a weird, okay. Yeah, I don't need that. Uh Oh, you're a dog that's in a cage. Mushroom. Hey, listen, we are friends. Okay. We are friends. Dang it. Now you I need to be brave. brave. Why can't you humans leave us alone? Why are you yelling at the dog? You'll pay for what Fawn did, human. Surely you can do far better than that. Darn you, human dog. What are you doing? I'll defend myself if I, I have to. I knew we could not lose. 
Okay, I think I'm gonna keep you inside the cage. Uh, I thought if I released you, you might join my team, but you didn't, so. As you say. It's a pile of books here. The History of Ferelden. Oh, it's a chest. Hey, you're not a rogue, are you? Can you unlock this? I guess I'm gonna have to make sure that I get a rogue in the in the group. I forgot this game had like locked chest. Another locked chest. Let my health regen here for a second. Okay, you know, I want to switch you back to um, uh, the other mode here. Go back to range mode. I can keep them in the doorway Where here and then I you just shoot them. Ah! This is too bad. This will not end well. There is no hope for you now! We'll get you! Flee while you can! Stop for a second. Oh, he auto-switched. Alright, good. You have forced my hand! Shield bash is so good. We're gonna kill all the humans in this castle for taking our wives. And chat, you guys thought this was gonna be a happy story. Just think, like I said, you can start this, um, you know, a few other ways. Like, how, how do those start? It will be done. Okay, I don't know if I want to go down that way or not. Wait, is that a, is that a single room down there? Yeah, it looks like it is. Oh, that's uh, not even a door we can get into right now. Uh, let's do a save. Yes. Hmm, one guard over there. I feel like I need to science something here. Let's let's science something, chat. All right. Um, I have to like unequip like all my gear. Hold on. Let's do. Uh, let's throw that on. So if we walk into this room here, and we have, uh, wait, I put you in your underwear. Okay. Enemies ahead! Okay, that didn't work like I thought it was going to. <laughs> I will not falter! Okay, never mind. Gotta test the, the limits. See, now I gotta remember all the stuff that I had on. There's my shield. Uh, boots. Oh, he still had his crossbow. I don't think that would have actually done anything, but... Uh, 
Helmet for you. Boots for you. Armor for you. Oh, wait. Wrong spot. Okay, cool. Of course. Did you just try and sh Let's end this quickly! Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yes. How's it going, JT? Uh, we want to focus targets here, friend. I mean, you almost got that guy dead. All right, we'll just do whatever. I knew we could not Look at that. Perfectly in sequence deaths. Would have been really cool if we would have both done an execution at the same time. That would have been, like, amazing. I'm assuming that door is probably uh, the big door. Sit down, nerd. You will not win. This will not end well. Watch out, cousin. There is no hope for you now. This isn't too bad. Let's quickly! He's got stuff on him. Oh, those are statues. That door is locked. That door is locked. Did you ever try and uh, rename the people in this game? Can you? Yeah, yeah. I, I'm. I. I keep turning it off. Yeah. I wish it would do, like, uh, a highlighted, like, motion box around it. That's where I'm getting confused. Oh, this is not the right door. I thought that door was going to be the thing. Hmm. Just double check. Okay. Hello? I'll just take all this stuff, thank you. Yes. What do we got in here? Got some quartz. Uh oh. How many humans have I killed in the last 10 minutes? I lost count. Whoa, what the hell? I'll defend myself if I have to. Why is this guy's name in yellow? This guy is strong. You will not win. After you, cousin. Keep on him. close. Of course. All right. Clear. Hey, is that a better shield? Hectic? Oh, uh, it's got some better missile deflection on it. So, like, barely an upgrade. That dog over there shot a fireball at us.
little bit of money. It will my, be done. My, my. What have we here? Don't worry. We'll make short work of these two. Quiet, you idiot! They're covered with enough blood to fill a tub. What do you think that means? You're going to pay for what you've done. All right. Let's not be too hasty here. Surely we can talk this over. If you have something to say, say it. Here's our situation. You are skilled, obviously. We fight here. Perhaps you could even manage to kill us. My father won't let that go. Your pigsty of an alienage will be burnt to the ground. Or you turn and walk away. With 40 sovereigns added to your purses, you take that money and leave Denerim tonight. No repercussions. And you can go wherever you like. And what about the women? Will you let them go? The women stay. They'll go home tomorrow. Slightly worse for wear. And you'll be long gone. That's the deal. Take it or leave it. Chat, what are we doing? Death, murder, no deal, three, three. Hmm. Yeah, as we do this playthrough, I think I will let you guys decide certain things. That'll be fun. Yeah, I've never, I, as far as I can remember, I've also never done two. What kind of person makes a deal? Can you pick up that dog trap? Dog trap? I'm not sure what you're talking about. Ha! I always regret talking to knife ears. Now I'll just gut your ignorant carcasses instead. Okay, let's focus fire here. Okay. I want you to go after this guy. Kill the, the little ones first, and then we'll kill the big one. I'm going to give him a couple of shots here, and then I'm going to go after the other one here. Oh, he stunned me right fire! away. Turn and run! He'll get you! Yes. Okay, now I'm switching targets. Okay, stop. Switch here. My time is yours. Okay. Alright, switch. You should have for ruining my wedding. There is no hope for you now. It will be done. You have forced my hand! That was close! Let us end this quickly! I shall end it! He's, he's dead. Tell me we did the right thing, cousin. It's a little late for regrets. I'm not regretting it. It's just... Never mind. I'll check the back room for the others. Shiani needs you. But first, we must loot say. the bodies. Oh, I forgot this game has runes as well. Yes. Of course. Another iron ring with some con and some resist. Don't worry, I'll get to you in a moment. I have to loot the room first. Make sure everything's good. Oh, hello. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't see you laying there. Oh, Don't leave me alone. Expands. Praise please, the sub. Please take me home. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Everything, everything will be alright, okay? It'll be okay. So much blood. 
I, I can't stand to look at it. It's everywhere. You killed them, didn't you? You killed them all? Yes, I, I killed them all, uh, even the women and the children. Uh, like, uh, like dogs. Yep. Good. Good. Uh, uh, A great Sith you will be. Is she going to be all right? I hope so. Shiani's strong. She'll recover. Uh, are you hurt? I'm fine. Your friend got the worst of it. They said they were saving us for later. I can't believe you came for me. I couldn't just let him hurt y'all. Thank you. Uh, we should go. Soon. As in now. So one thing I, I want to mention here real quick, and uh, for those who have played this, you can correct me if I'm wrong. Again, it's been years since I played this. So when I started this, I mentioned there's like different variations that can happen. So for this scenario, if you play a female city elf instead of a male, you get captured and you have to fight your way out instead of you being the, the husband going to rescue the wife. So there, like I said, there are some slight variations of male, female. Which is really cool. I'll take the rear guard. I can't wait to leave this place. You've returned. Has Shiani been hurt? Where is Tormi's daughter, Nola? Nola didn't make it. She resisted. <laughs> they killed her. I see. Would you ladies please take Shiani home? She needs rest. Of course. Now tell me, what happened? JT said, ah, uh, old Bioware, how I miss it. You know, with this next Dragon Age that's coming out, hopefully they can recapture this magic. We'll see, though. Vaughn's dead. Then the garrison could already be on their way. You have little time. Uh, we may have to leave, uh, for a while. Oh, that it has come to this. The guards are here! Don't panic. Let's see what comes of this. I seek Valendrian, elder and administrator of the alienage. Uh, here, Captain. I take it you have come in response to today's disruption. Don't play ignorant with me, elder. You will not prevent justice from being done. The Earl's son lies dead in a river of blood that runs through the entire palace. I need names, and I need them now. Stay silent. I'm afraid I can't help you, Captain. You know the tales they tell about the Earl's son. I'm sure you can guess what happened. I know that no matter what happened, it has gone too far. Your silence puts the entire alienage at risk. You there, Grey Warden. Tell me what you know of this knight's foul deeds. I have nothing to say, Captain. Then I'll ask one more time. If anyone here knows who murdered the Earl's son, speak now and save yourself a lot more trouble. Chat, you guys are deciding this one. What are we doing? Because I don't, I don't really remember what happens here. Um... If, if we stay silent or not. Actually, I'm pretty sure I know what happens for option two, but um, if we take one, I wonder if he goes to jail. So I know what happens with my character. Not unless we both do the thing, but I don't recall that being an option. I could be wrong, though. Uh, I think three is winning the vote right now, so... 
Very well. You leave me little choice. No! Stop! He did it! Him and Soros! You two certainly match the descriptions we have. Guards! Disarm them! These two await in the dungeons until the Earl or King returns. The rest of you, back to your houses. Captain, a word if you please. What is it, Grey Warden? The situation is well under control, as you can see. Be that as it may, I hereby invoke the Grey Warden's right of conscription. I remove this prisoner into my custody. What about, uh, Soros? Please, don't leave me here! I'm sorry, but this is not charity. The Grey Wardens need skilled fighters. To take you would be to condemn you to certain death, and I will not. No, no, no! Don't leave me here! Silence, you! Fine. You may take that one. But I ask only one thing, Grey Warden. Get this elf out of the city today. Agreed. Very well. This one will have to be enough. Move out, men. You're with me now. Say your goodbyes and see me when you're ready. We leave immediately. But what is going to happen here? For the moment, they are fine. There are far more important matters arising that endanger more than just your people. I needed a Grey Warden, and I found one. That conscripting you saved your life is only circumstance. You did what you had to do to accomplish your mission. We need people like you. Now quickly, say your goodbyes. Your life here is over. So Solas ends up executed. Uh, for now, he's just in jail. We'll see what happens later. Well, I guess Duncan got his recruit after all. It was not by my choice. No. Either way, it's out of my hands now. If you'll excuse me, I must tend to our people. Goodbye, young one. And make her keep you. I don't even know what a great warden is. Also, you... This is all your fault, and I can't even talk to you. Uh, let's see here. A Grey Warden, huh? Fancy that. Yeah, fancy that. If this is what the Maker has planned for you, then I guess it's for the best. Your mother would have been pleased. You are not pleased? Why can't I ever please you, Father? I just wish there was another way. I dreamed of grandchildren, family gatherings, and... I'm sorry, this isn't helping. Take care, my son. Be strong. And wise. And... Well, you know, we'll all miss you. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, we have a crash. Okay. Ooh, where'd that save at? Hmm. We'll all miss you, Crash. Where where's our, our our load point here? Okay, okay, cool. Taking off, Sotarista. Thanks for uh, coming out. Do appreciate it. I think we just got to talk to the dad again. Let me do a hard save right here, just in case these old games can get wonky sometimes if this is what the maker has planned for you then i guess it's for the best your mother would have been pleased is there a way that i can skip this i just wish there was enough take care of my 
Okay, cool. We didn't crash that time. All right, was there anybody else I had to talk to? I don't think so. Well, we're uh, off to join Duncan and become a Grey Warden. But you might ask, what does that mean? There's more to it than what you might realize. Are you ready to go? I am. Good. Then we leave for Ostagar immediately. Let's -a roll. We will be traveling south through the hinterlands to the ruin of Ostagar on the edges of the Korkari Wilds. The Tevinter Imperium built Ostagar long ago to prevent the Wilders from invading the northern lowlands. It's fitting we make our stand here, even if we face a different foe within that forest. The King's forces have clashed with the Darkspawn several times, but here is where the bulk of the Horde will show itself. There are only a few Grey Wardens within Ferelden at the moment, but all of us are here. This blight must be stopped, here and now. If it spreads to the north, Ferelden will fall. Ho oh there, Duncan. King Kaelan. I didn't expect a... A royal welcome? I was beginning to worry you'd miss all the fun. Not if I could help it, your majesty. Then I'll have the mighty Duncan at my side in battle after all. Glorious. The other wardens told me you'd found a promising recruit. I take it this is he? Allow me to introduce you, your majesty. There's no need to be so formal, Duncan. We'll be shedding blood together after all. Ho oh there, friend. Might I know your name? Uh, I am Kosh, your majesty. Pleased to meet you. The Grey Wardens are desperate to bolster their numbers, and I, for one, am glad to help them. I see you're an elf, friend. From where do you hail? Uh, from the city, of course. As do I. Though I've not been in the palace for some time. Do you come from the alienage? Tell me, how is it there? My guards all but forbid me going there. You have no idea- yeah, you have no idea how bad it is, do you? You think I care nothing about these things, but I do. I suppose trust will only come with proof. Things will change once we defeat the Darkspawn, in the alienages and all through Ferelden. For now, we must attend to war. Allow me to be the first to welcome you to Ostagar. The Wardens will benefit greatly with you in their ranks. You're too kind, Your Majesty. I'm sorry to cut this short, but I should return to my tent. Loghain waits eagerly to bore me with his strategies. Your uncle sends his greetings and reminds you that Redcliffe forces could be here in less than a week. Ha! <laughs> Eamon just wants in on the glory. We've won three battles against these monsters, and tomorrow should be no different. Didn't realize things were going so well. I'm not even sure this is a true blight. There are plenty of darkspawn on the field, but alas, we've seen no sign of an archdemon. Disappointed, your majesty? I'd hoped for a war like in the tales. A king riding with the fabled Grey Wardens against a tainted god. But I suppose this will have to do. I must go before Loghain sends out a search party. Farewell, Grey Wardens. I forget who voices Loghain. I think it's a fairly uh, well-known actor. What the king said is true. They've won several battles against the Darkspawn here. Yeah, you don't sound very reassured. Despite the victory so far, the Darkspawn Horde grows larger with each passing day. By now, they look to outnumber us. I know there is an archdemon behind this, but I cannot ask the King to act solely on my feeling. So what would you have him do? Wait for reinforcements. We sent a call out west to the Grey Wardens of Orlais, but it will be many days before they can join us. Our numbers in Ferelden are too few. We must do what we can, and look to Terran Loghain to make up the difference. To that end, we should proceed with the joining ritual without delay. So what do you, uh... What do you mean, what ritual? Every recruit must go through a secret ritual we call the joining, in order to become a Grey Warden. The ritual is brief, but some preparation is required. We must begin soon. 
So why is the ritual so secret? The joining is dangerous. I cannot speak more of it except to say that you will learn all in good time. Until then, you must trust that what is done is necessary. Am I the only recruit you have? No, there are two other recruits here already. They have been waiting for us to arrive. Uh, what do you need me to do? Feel free to explore the camp here as you wish. All I ask is that you do not leave it for the time being. There is another Grey Warden in the camp by the name of Alistair. When you're ready, seek him out and tell him it's time to summon the other recruits. Until then, I have business I must attend to. You may find me at the Grey Warden tent on the other side of this bridge, should you need to. Okay, bye. Oh, I got a level up. Was there things back over here? Let me level up here real fast. All right. Do I have any reason to do, like, decks? I mean, willpower, magic, no. What is cunning again in this game? How well a character learns and reasons most skills, such as herbalism or combat tactics, require. And dex does what? Measure of agility, balance. Okay. So I think pretty much I can just keep stacking. Let's go two con, one strength. That'll put me up to... 20. All right. Uh, expert combat training. Kicker has seen uh, more battle than a senior soldier. Gain a small bonus to attack. Warriors and rogues gain access to third level weapon talents. Yeah, I think we'll do that. And then let's come down here and grab, what is this? Shield pummel? Shield defense and then shield block. Requires 10 decks. Uh, I think I'm going to grab shield defense. While this mode is active, the character drops into a defensive stance that favors the shield. Gaining a bonus to defense increases a chance to shrug off missile attack. Okay, so I'm actually going to move. Let me unlock my bar here. Of course. So really, I think I only need to use that if we get into a really sticky situation where we're fighting a ton of guys and I'm at like half health. Drop into that stance. Now I just need like a taunt. Yeah, I forget if there's... Who's this guy? Make a watch over you, my lord. I'm not a my lord. Oh, there is loot around here. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, the other toggle abilities I might have to take off, uh, like the one two slot. And... Any loot around here? You want to talk to me? Make a watch over you, my lord. Hmm, okay. Yeah, we'll probably go to the other side of the bridge. What's over here? The Tower of Ishal is off limits. The men stationed inside are securing it now. Uh, and what is this tower exactly? I think they used it once to watch for wilders coming out of the forest. Wilders, huh? So why is it off limits? By orders of Terran Loghain. The tower is being secured by his men to be used during battle. I'm told they discovered some lower chambers, and they don't know how far down they go, so for now, everyone's to stay out. Okay. Uh, lower chambers? What do you mean? I didn't see anything like that when I was there, but who knows? Make her speed your steps. Make her what my steps? Speed my steps?
Make a watch over you, my lord. Uh, somebody want to fix this bridge? It's got a, a hole in it. Hail, you must be the Grey Warden recruit that Duncan brought. That's me. This place hasn't seen such bustle in centuries, I'll wager. Need a hand getting anywhere? Uh, I'm looking for a Grey Warden named Alistair. Try heading north. I think he was sent with a message to the mages. Okay, cool. Uh, tell me about Ostagar. Used to be a fortress a long time ago, so I understand. Back in the days when the Wilders used to invade the lowlands. You were just on the eastern side of the ruin. The Tower of Ishal is there, but Tern Loganes closed it off until the battle. This side is the King's Camp. We've got the Grey Wardens here, the Circle of Magi, the Chantry. You can't swing a dead cat without hitting somebody important. Where'd you get a dead ca Okay, I just... Is there any way to get supplies? Quartermaster, he's just a bit to the northwest. Oh yeah, because I'm carrying a bunch of junk, I gotta get rid of it. So where's the king at? Probably in his tent. He and Tern Loghain are on the southwest side of the camp. The king likes to spend time with his soldiers though. Sometimes even without his bodyguards. Drives Tern Loghain wild, that does. So you said the Circle of Magi are here? A few mages, yes. They even brought those creepy quiet fellows, the Tranquil. Gives me the shivers when they talk, all cold and even. They're to the north of here, bunched up with a herd of Templars glaring at them. Can't miss it. Do I hear dogs barking? This is Ferelden, isn't it? The king has his kennels on the west side of camp. Stinks from all the hounds. These aren't cute puppies, though. Some of those dogs bite the dark spawn and get too much of that blood in them. It's like poison. Slow, painful death. Terrible. Good luck to you, then. Greetings. King Kalen is not in his tent right now. Ah, persuasion check. Uh, tell me about the king. I must see him a lot. I suppose I do. Though he's spending most of his time with the Grey Wardens. He rides with them wherever they go, in fact. Terran Loghain sees the king whenever he can and argues with him over coming battles. But the king just waves him off. The king wants to end the blight with a single huge battle the bards will sing of for centuries. Do you think that's possible? Yeah, we'll see in the uh, coming battle. That's how the Terran feels. He'll do what the king wants in the end, though. The king thought it was funny the Terran called him reckless. And they fought about the queen. The queen? She's the Terran's daughter. He wasn't happy about something she did or the king did, I'm not sure. I probably shouldn't discuss it. Okay. As you wish. Uh, if there are people in chat that want a mods list, I can get that together. Uh, right now I don't. Uh, I will say everything is from Nexus mods, though. Nothing was terribly complicated to install once I figured out how to do it. Funny enough... Like, when I first looked into modding this game, like, the first thing everybody says was, like, download the mod manager, which I did. And of the, like, seven or ten mods I'm using, only one of them actually used the mod manager. So that was, like, a, a complete waste to do that. You approach the tent of Terran Loghain. State your business. So, tell me about him. How can you not know of Loghain? He helped free Ferelden. He was the brains behind King Marek's armies and drove out those damned Orlesians. King Marek rewarded him by making him a Tern. Can you imagine? A commoner became a high nobleman just like that. Without Loghain, you can bet the king wouldn't be winning against these Darkspawn. Uh, is he inside the tent? What's he doing? He's inside, but I don't think it's my place to discuss his activities. Ah, uh, come on! Surely you can tell me something. I suppose, as long as we talk quietly. He and the King have been arguing for days. The Tern's known the King since he was swaddled, so they don't stand on ceremony. The Tern speaks his mind, and the King yells right back. Personally, I think the King should do what Tern Logang tells him. Without the Tern, we wouldn't be doing as well here as we are. Yeah, I should go. Very well. Uh, I have all the Dragon Age games on Origin.
Well met. We stand here in this hour. A good folk of time. You there, Elf. What's your name? Ah, uh, it, it, it's Pick, sir. Go tell Turn Logan that the war party's ready to begin scouting. We'll send word if we find anything amiss. Yes, sir. R right away, sir. If you have business with the Ash Warriors, I suggest you speak to our commander. Maker's breath, another elf. What do you want? Oh, another dumb human. Eww. I happen to be a Grey Warden human, not some servant. <laughs> Congratulations. Not bad for an elf. Is there something you wanted? We have no time for idle chatter. You don't look like the other soldiers in the army. We aren't. We're Ash Warriors. And what is that? Our training has been passed down since Lathias the Dwarf's son first harnessed the battle rage of the Dwarves. It is an old tale. Can I hear this old tale? I am no bard, but I will do my best. Lathias was a clan tribesman. Some said he was too short to be a warrior. But he was strong and fierce. His chieftain sent him to the Dwarves of Orzammar to negotiate an alliance, where he fell in love with the king's daughter, Skya, and brought her back to his tribe. She taught Lathias to use the Dwarven battle wrath to summon his strength and ignore all pain. Lathias then taught this to the clan who made him their chieftain. What happened to him? Lathias's prowess earned him the love of Morrigannon, a beautiful chieftain of another tribe. When Skya learned of his seduction, she returned to her people. Lathias was grieved. He sent Morrigannon away, but this only vexed her, and began a long war between their tribes. In the end, Lathias slew Morrigannon in single combat. However, his wounds were great, and he perished when the rage ended. The dwarves came from Orzammar that day, and gave Lathias an honored burial in the mountains. And we live by his teachings even today. And what happened to his wife? It is said that before the final battle, she returned to Luthias and gave him a shirt of dwarven chain, along with a final night of passion. Then she was gone forever. If she lived on in Orzammar, only the dwarven folk could say for certain. An interesting legend. Uh, thanks for telling me. It was an honor. So what are you preparing for? To scout the wilds and watch the progression of the Darkspawn Horde. With luck, we'll find and slaughter many stragglers. The hunt will be good if my hound survives the blood of his prey. If he dies, I shall mourn tonight. Survives the blood? What do you mean? Darkspawn blood is poisonous, but not always fatal. Those who survive grow immune to its effects. The Wardens say the tainted blood drives even the survivors mad eventually. But not today. Today, we hunt and we kill. Why have you painted your dogs? They use scent to distinguish us from our enemies. But the blood of battle can confuse them. So we paint ourselves with Cadiz, which overpowers the blood, and also paint our hounds so they know we are the same. Hmm. My thanks. There is hunting to be done, and I'll not be kept from it. Bork. Bork, bork. Welcome to the King's camp, my lord. Anything over here? Hail. You're one of Duncan's new recruits, correct? I can't let you through to the Korkari Wilds until he gives the word. Why not? The Korkari Wilds is a dangerous place, more so now that it crawls with Darkspawn. They say the Great Blight began deep within its forests. One of our scouting patrols has been gone for three days. We're taking bets on who got them first, the Darkspawn or the Witches of the Wilds. Ah, the old Witches of the Wilds. What are those? Oh, sure. There's an old legend in these parts about Flemeth, the apostate sorceress who conquered this area centuries ago. She united the chasing barbarians and invaded the farmlands. That's when the great hero, Cormac, destroyed her army with his. Took her head right off, so they say. Her daughters survived and became the Witches of the Wild. Tales tell of them plaguing this area since. Mostly superstitions, stealing babies and spoiling milk. I hate it when they spoil the milk. Gosh, oh, it's the worst. 
So what do you think about that? Only when it's dark and the wind is bad. No doubt those patrols met some darkspawn. That's enough for anyone to worry about. At any rate, that's why Duncan doesn't want you wandering out without his say-so. Because the milk will get spoiled. Got it. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't want that to happen, so... You may not want to remain here long, Warden. Most of these men have been tainted by the Darkspawn blood. In the name of Andraste, I bless you today. Ah, I suspect you are one of the new Grey Wardens. Will you accept the Maker's blessing? I will. Then I bless you, Grey Warden, in the name of Andraste and the Maker above. May the chant of light carry your name to the ears of our Lord. Uh, I should do a hard save here, just in case. Sorry, the main army camp is off limits for you right now. Did the vendor show up on the map? Kennel master. Oh, uh, the quartermaster. Oh, I actually found the right spot. So, any last wishes I can help fulfill before you head into battle? Well, you're not what I thought you'd be. Uh, and who are you? The name's Davith. <laughs> it's about bloody time you came along. I was beginning to think they cooked this ritual up just for our benefit. Maybe they did? Just to give us a good scare. No, they don't really seem the type. I happened to be sneaking around camp last night, see? And I heard a couple of Grey Wardens talking. So, I listen in for a bit. I'm thinking they plan to send us into the wilds. So what? That wouldn't frighten me. Cannibals, beasts, witches, and now Darkspawn. What isn't to be scared of? It's all too secretive for me. Makes my nose twitch. I guess we'll have to wait and see. <laughs> like we have a choice. Are they fo forcing you to be here? I've got nowhere else to go after what Duncan saved me from. Anyway, I expect it's time to get back to Duncan. That's where I'll be if you need me for anything. And who are you, madam? How do you do? Ah, uh, my chest is here. All right, cool. You there, elf. Where's my armor? And why are you dressed so preposterously? Uh, I am not a servant. What? Oh, uh, you're the one who arrived with the Grey Warden. I, uh, please forgive my rudeness. There are so many elves running about and I've been waiting for... Oh, it's simply been so hectic. Uh, I never thought... But please, pardon my terrible manners. I, uh, I am just the quartermaster, a simple man. No one special. Listen, I'm getting real tired of all you people dissing my, my elves. All right? I'm done with it. You are a forgiving human for now. Thank you. Did you come for some supplies, perhaps? Maybe. Arms and armor, for the most part. It's for the king's men, but uh, you Grey Wardens can buy what you need for a modest price. I also have some uh, goods on the side I can provide. Strictly off the record, of course. To keep morale up, you understand. <laughs> okay. Let me know what you'd like. Okay, uh, I want to sell. Let's see here. Where is... I know I got some junk. Oh, that's not even worth anything. Uh, I guess I'll get rid of uh, that. I thought I picked up way more junk. Some of this stuff is worth a lot of money. Hmm. So what do you, uh, what do you have for weapons? I mean, again, I have like no money. So that's a, that's a, like a little bit of a damage increase. I don't think I'm going to buy anything just yet, but good to know where the uh, where the guy is 
Welcome, young man. Who are you? I am one of the Tranquil, my friend. I am of the Circle of Magi. But instead of casting spells and reading tomes, I spend my time enchanting. It is a time-consuming process, but invaluable. Enchantment provides the Circle its wealth. Certainly, we would not get by on charity. You want to play a Tranquil? So you're just going to do like you, you can't fight? Oh, by the way, enchantment! For those who know, you know. Uh, what is enchantment exactly? Enchantment? Enchantment! It is the practice of folding magical lyrium into items first practiced by the dwarves. The Tranquil have learned their runes, and we use them to apply a variety of magical effects. We create the glow lights, as well as the magic staff, or the flaming blade. The irony, perhaps, is that it is our very disconnection to our former talents that allows the Tranquil to work with Lyrium so. A true mage could not. So what if sort of enchantments are there? Runes exist that hold the power of the elements that increase strength or swiftness. Almost any spell can be given permanency, given enough skill and lyrium. Naturally, the greater the power required, the more expensive the rune will become to create. True power comes with a price, as we know only too well. Whoa. All right. Goodbye. Goodbye. Greetings, young man. You are Duncan's newest recruit, are you not? He's not a man easily impressed. You should be proud. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Wynne, one of the mages summoned by the king. I am Koss. Well met, and good luck to you on the battlefield. To us all, in fact. The music kicks in. King Kalen, uh, King Kalen thinks the battle will go well. The king must always seem confident. His behavior affects the troops' morale. He does seem to find his enthusiasm easily, though. Reminds me of a puppy. And I say that with both respect and affection. He is a fine man. To defeat the Darkspawn, we have to work together. It's not an idea everyone seems able to grasp. You faced the dark, dark spawn before? Stragglers, yes. Not the vast horde the scouts speak of. I wonder, how much do you know of the connection between dark spawn and the Fade? Uh, isn't the Fade the land of the dead or something? Anytime your spirit leaves your earthly body, whether it's to dream or to die, it passes into the realm we call the Fade. It's home to many spirits, some benevolent, others far less so. At the heart of the Fade, lies the Black City. What's the Black City? Some say the Black City was once the seat of the Maker. But when the mages from the Tevinter Imperium found a way into the city, it was tainted with their sin. That taint transformed those men, turning them into twisted reflections of their own hearts. And the Maker cast them back to the Earth, where they became the first Darkspawn. At least, that's what the Chant of Light says. And is it true? It may be allegory, meant to teach us that our own evil causes human suffering. Or it may be true. It is as good an explanation as any for now. At least it's something to ponder. Yes, occasionally it's wise to contemplate one's actions. But I'm certain Duncan has more for you to do than talk to me. Maker above. Hear the prayers of your sons and daughters. We who betrayed your prophet Andraste. Uh, you're asking me my favorite companion across all three games? Um, I have not beaten Inquisition. Uh, I've only played like the first five hours of Inquisition. Favorite companion across all three games? That's a tough question. Because of how 
Let us bow our heads how different uh, the three games are. That he might find us worthy. Um, and all, I, I kind of don't want to answer that question because of spoilers. There's a lot of people watching that have never seen this game before. So, uh, maybe, maybe ask me again later. I'm just gonna we'll come up here. I do not have time to speak at present, thank you. Aren't you speaking to these guys? Mmm, this isn't good. I'd hate to waste such a promising member of the breed. Are you the new warden? I could use some help. Oh, uh, what's going on? This is a Mabari. Smart breed and strong. His owner died in the last battle, and the poor hound swallowed darkspawn blood. I have medicine that might help, but I need him muzzled first. I can give it a shot. Go in the pen and let him smell you. We'll know right away if he'll respond. Let's hope this works. I'd really hate to have to put him down. I'm gonna have to roll an animal handling check here. Option two. It's okay, dog. Well done. Now I can treat the dog properly, poor fella. Come to think of it, are you heading into the wilds anytime soon? Uh, not that I know of, but uh, maybe. There's a particular herb I could use to improve the dog's chances. It's a flower that grows in the swamps here, if I remember. If you happen across it, I could use it. It's very distinctive, all white, with a blood-red center. Will the dog be alright without it? If he doesn't get it, chances are he'll need to be put down. Well, let's see if I can find one. Good. In the meantime, I'll begin treating our poor friend. By the way, if there's anybody in chat who's wondering, uh, the game does go open world-esque uh, at some point. Uh, this game is very story heavy and very like, uh, you know, point A to point B to point C early on. But eventually it does open up. Soldiers of Ferelden. My okay. Have I knocked out everything I needed to do? We stand here on the eve of battle. Let us So I need to go like this way. Can I talk to you guys? Just trying to like talk to everybody that I can. I'm sorry, but there was so much to do before the battle. I must attend I to my no duties or I'll get the bridge. Switch. Amazing. Very well. Don't try this too. Just between you and me. But I have ownership of this chest. Maybe. What is it now? Haven't Grey Wardens asked more than enough of the Circle? I simply came to deliver a message from the revered mother, Sir Mage. She desires your presence. What her reverence desires is of no concern to me. I am busy helping the Grey Wardens by the King's orders, I might add. Should I have asked her to write a note? Tell her I will not be harassed in this manner. Yes, I was harassing you by delivering a message. Your glibness does you no credit. Here I thought we were getting along so well. I was even going to name one of my children after you. The Grumpy One. Enough. I will speak to the woman if I must. Get out of my way, fool. Whoa. You know, one good thing about the Blight is how it brings people together. You're a very strange human. You're not the first to tell me that. Wait, we haven't met, have we? I don't suppose you happen to be another mage. Don't worry, I'm no mage. Less being yelled at for me, then. Though the day is still young. Wait. I do know who you are. You're Duncan's new recruit. The elf from Denerim. 
I should have recognized you right away. I apologize. You must be Alistair. Did Duncan mention me? Nothing bad, I hope. As the junior member of the Order, I'll be accompanying you when you prepare for the joining. Ah, pleased to meet you. Right, that was the name. So I'm curious. Have you ever actually encountered Darkspawn before? Nope. When I fought my first one, I wasn't prepared for how monstrous it was. I can't say I'm looking forward to encountering another. Anyhow, whenever you're ready, let's get back to Duncan. I imagine he's eager to get things started. So that argument I saw, what was that about? With the mage. The circle is here at the king's request, and the Chantry doesn't like that one bit. They just love letting mages know how unwelcome they are, which puts me in a bit of an awkward position. I was once a Templar. So remember what I said at the start of the stream chat about magic in this uh, universe? We're starting to kind of get into it a little bit. You were a mage hunter? Not that that's all Templars do, but yes, the Chantry raised me until Duncan recruited me six months ago. I'm sure the revered mother meant it as an insult, sending me as her messenger, and the mage picked right up on that. I never would have agreed to deliver it, but Duncan says we're all to cooperate and get along. Apparently, they didn't get the same speech. Hmm. Uh, what about the other recruits? Davith and Sir Jory are here in the camp. Have you met them? Uh, I met the one guy. Right, that cut purse Duncan conscripted. Not sure what Duncan sees in him, to be honest. Keep an eye out, maybe we'll see the other one. Or I can track him down later. Yeah, I look forward to traveling with you. You do? Huh. That's a switch. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, lead on. I'm a nice elf. Tutorial on party members and tactics. Oh, one other quick thing I was going to mention, chat. So, one of the mods that I'm running allows me to increase the size of, like, the subtitles and the choices and stuff like that. So if it's too small for you guys, let me know and I can actually increase the size. Uh, what do you want me to do? If you're not controlling them, party members act accordingly by left clicking. Right, right, right. I already figured that out like two hours ago. Now open the tactic screen by clicking on the icon. Uh huh, uh huh. Yep. Okay, mm-hmm, sure. It's gonna make me do things. The change Alistair's uh, presets to Defender. Okay, okay, okay. I'm the Defender, not him. I might I might change him over to a two-handed swordsman. Yeah. If I, if I keep him in the group. We'll see. Okay, where are we going? This away. Pop up for merchants. Get that off the screen. You found Alistair, did you? Good. I'll assume you're ready to begin preparations. Assuming, of course, that you're quite finished riling up mages, Alistair. What can I say? The revered mother ambushed me. The way she wields guilt, they should stick her in the army. She forced you to sass the mage, did she? We cannot afford to antagonize anyone, Alistair. We don't need to give anyone more ammunition against us. I apologize, Duncan. I'll go collect who we're missing. This is Sir Jory, a knight from Redcliffe. How do you do? And this, of course, is the recruit that Duncan said he was bringing. I'm Koss. Uh, pleased to meet everybody. I look forward to uh, working with all of you. Now then, since you're all here, we can begin. You four will be heading into the Kokari Wilds to perform two tasks. The first is to obtain three vials of darkspawn blood. One for each recruit. And the second? 
There was once a Grey Warden archive in the wilds, abandoned long ago when we could no longer afford to maintain such remote outposts. It has recently come to our attention that some scrolls have been left behind, magically sealed to protect them. Alistair, I want you to retrieve these scrolls if you can. What kind of scrolls are these? Old treaties, if you're curious. Promises of support made to the Grey Wardens long ago. They were once considered only formalities. With so many having forgotten their commitments to us, I suspect it may be a good idea to have something to remind them with. And what if they're no longer there? It's possible the scrolls may have been destroyed or even stolen, though the seal's magic should have protected them. Only a Grey Warden can break such a seal. I don't understand. Why leave such things in a ruin if they're so valuable? It was assumed that we would someday return. A great many things were assumed that have not held true. Is this part of our joining as well? No, but the effort must be made. I have every confidence you are up to the task. All right, find the archives and the blood. Got it. Watch over your charges, Alistair. Return quickly and safely. We will. Then may the Maker watch over your path. I will see you when you return. Tainted blood. All right, cool. Let's do a hard save right there. Dun, dun. All right, uh, here real quick chat. We have not taken a break yet today. So I think we'll do that here real quick. If anybody else wants to get up and stretch, we'll take a quick two minute break and then come back and keep doing this. So I'll be right back. All right, welcome back everybody. Yeah, I gotta admit, you know, I haven't played this game in such a long time. I didn't know how I was gonna feel playing this again. And like, honestly, it feels great. And I feel like this game has held up like very well. Uh, I actually have something really cool to show you. Cause I'm like such a big fan of this game or, th or this series, even though I've never really played the third one. I actually have, I'll show you what this is. I might have to move my mic. A little bit. So this is a bloodied cloth map of uh, Ferelden. I need to get this framed and actually post it somewhere. Uh, it's really cool. I kind of forgot that I even had it, but that's a pretty little cool uh, piece. That came with the Steelbook uh, Collector's Edition back in the day. I think you're correct, yeah. I have something else I'm going to show you, but uh, I can't show you that yet because it's going to be a spoiler. So uh, I, I grabbed that during the break as well. All right. Okay, so we got to go find the two things and we need a flower. That's our missions right now. Hey. I'm told you all have business in the wilds. The gate's open for you. Just be careful out there. Even a Grey Warden won't be safe in the forest tonight. You have a sealed PC copy and 360 version? So you, you have a sealed uh, steelbook? I wonder how much those would go for. Uh, here before we get started, uh, I do want to tactics these guys. 
Okay. So I'll be sword and board. Alistair will be sword and board. Okay, this guy has a bow. Okay. So this guy. I want to make sure you're defender. You need to be archer and you need to stay archer. And Jory, you are going to be scrapper. I think that'll work. Uh, does Jay bring up quests? Okay, it does. What's premium content? Okay, we have to gather the strange flower. Alright, well, let's go have a gander around here. Uh -oh. I swear this stuff has gotten louder. See, now the music is, like, super soft. Dude, I might have to just keep it loud. I mean, I do have a limiter on the stream, which helps, but... Let's try that. Actually, wait, 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 wait. There's an option in here for, um... Force stereo audio. Forces the game to use stereo even if the Mac OS... Is configured differently. <laughs> if this option is disabled, the game follows the um, settings and system preferences. Hmm. I wondered if if that was going to like balance the audio a little bit better. A letter. Is this actually a quest? Over here. What's going on with you? Who is that? Grey Wardens? Well, he's not half as dead as he looks, is he? My scouting band was attacked by Darkspawn. They came out of the ground. Please help me. I've got to return to camp. I'll try and bandage him up. I have bandages in my pack. Thank you. Oh. I... I've got to get out of here. Did you hear? An entire patrol of seasoned men killed by Darkspawn. Calm down, Sir Jory. We'll be fine if we're careful. Those soldiers were careful, and they were still overwhelmed. How many Darkspawn can the four of us slay? A dozen? A hundred? There's an entire army in these forests. There are Darkspawn about, but we're in no danger of walking into the bulk of the Horde. How do you know? I'm not a coward, but this is foolish and reckless. We should go back. You sound like a coward to me. We'll just fire way, fight our way out of the, out of the trouble. I still do not relish the thought of encountering an army. Know this. All Grey Wardens can sense Darkspawn. Whatever their cunning, I guarantee they won't take us by surprise. That's why I'm here. You see, Sir Knight, we might die, but we'll be warned about it first. That is... reassuring. That doesn't mean I'm here to make this easy, however. So let's get a move on. Is 
there a, a squirrel that I gotta kick around here somewhere? Ah, I got some elf root over here. That's something I need to try and do more is uh do the like the area check. You guys got any loot on you? That's a wild flower. Very well. Oh, that was the uh, thing we need for the dog. Good. Uh-oh. Hey, Jory, go, go get that guy. I shall. Now you die. Let's have some glory. I'll take this back, Archer. We're fine. Of course. A little bit of money. As you say. Oh, there's a vial of darkspawn blood. We needed like three or four of them. And there's one. I think there's a guy over there. Oh, they're hanging soldiers. Okay. Any other loot around here? Directly ahead. Okay, uh, here's what I want to do. Uh, you attack this guy. You, actually, uh, Alistair, get up top. Go after that guy. We're going to split a little bit. You kill this guy, and I will assist here. Go. Oh Where shall God. I strike? We must be victorious! Nice upper swing. <laughs> Good job, team. It will be done. Well, that's all the blood, I think. Is this the ruins over here? Ah, uh, this is in the water. There's like a cage over there. Do I gotta like go across that log? Look there. Poor slobs. That just seems so excessive. Indeed. Okay, I'll change targets. Now you see Can I have like a shield bash contest? It will be done. 
Hey, I told you to stay in range mode, Devlin, or Devin, whatever your name is. As you say. I feel like you didn't listen to me. What is... I don't know. That's a bad noise. Of course. Got some quartz. It will be done. Are you a rogue? Can you open this? What the hell? Insufficient skill. Okay, 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 okay. Right now, we are just gonna collect everything and figure out what to do with the gear later. Of course. These are vile and tainted creatures. Okay, what mode are you in? I need you to stay in range mode. My yeah. power is yours. All right, uh, hey, Alistair, go after that guy. And Devlin, do the same. I do like the tactics part of this combat where you can pause and be like, all right, you do this, you do that. All right, go. I think that's really cool. Right. It's like kind of scanning the area here. More trouble up ahead. <clears throat> we have an enemy mage? You have forced my hand! I think I ran away. Do not falter! Of course. Chase him down. Alistair is getting shot up over here. Hey, uh, Jory, and you go kill that emissary. I am ready. We're like ensnared. Whoa, 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 whoa. We just had somebody drop. Chat, we might have our first death here. Um, uh, use that. Alistair, use this. Okay. We really, really need to kill that guy. Yes. Holy crap. We just got fire blasted hard. As soon as you stand up, use it. Literally everybody needs to heal. Everybody, as soon as you stand up, pop a heal. You need help? Damn it. Okay. Right. 
Uh, Alistair, before you go too far, pop another heal. Also, come over here and help me finish this guy. Or go chase down... Ah, uh, damn. Uh... Next. No, I need you to pop that heal potion. Okay. Go to my guy. I guess I, I have this on my bar. I don't need to be... Okay. Focus here. Focus here. At right. your command. You will not win! Okay. Now let's focus this caster down. As right. you said. Okay, I gotta pop another heal here. It will be done. Now you fall! Let's end this quickly! I'm watching my health bar like real careful here. Last guy. We, we ran into our first real tough fight here. As you say. I wasn't watching health Thanks. close enough. Now you see power. Where's our other buddy at? There he is. Hmm. All right, level up time for me. I wonder, when do I get to choose a, um, one of these? Uh, I'm gonna do one strength, one dex, one con. Alright, let's see here. Oh, there's my taunt. Yes. A mocking bellow catches the attention of nearby foes. Yes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Let me fix my bar here. We'll put taunt on. Actually, I'm going to put taunt on six. Four, five, six. There we go. Let's do a hard save right there. All right. We good, guys? Big fire over here. What? Assassins! As you say. Okay. Well, at least we're getting a lot of experience. Have I been over like this way? No. Those pile of rocks.
You see a pile of stones covered in a fine layer of dust and ash. Sprinkle more of the ash on the pile of stones. The oh, oh, no. Time for some oh, no, 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 no. Oh, God. And how? And that too! Okay, we'll come with you now. Listen, dude. Come here. And that Right there. And Is that it? Using the flamethrower. I pile this You enforce my hand. To the fault, I will not fall. Alistair, you're dying. That's it? That's what we got from killing that, like, really tough guy? Come on, game! You're killing us here. What? Oh, there's a bad guy. I was like, I don't even see where the bad guys are. Uh, hey, Jory, you want to go take out the archer? Thank you. That dude followed him. Hey, if you guys have him, I'm gonna I go take out the archer. You're fine. Suck it up. Of course. As you say. Do -do 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 All right, chat, it is time, I think. Well, well, what have we here? Are you a vulture, I wonder? A scavenger, poking amidst a corpse whose bones were long since cleaned? Or merely an intruder, come into these darkspawn-filled wilds of mine in search of easy prey? What say you, hmm? Scavenger or intruder? I am neither. The Grey Wardens once owned this tower. Tis a tower no longer. 
The wilds have obviously claimed this desiccated corpse. I have watched your progress for some time. Where do they go, I wondered. Why are they here? And now you disturb ashes none have touched for so long. Why is that? Don't answer her. She looks chastened, and that means others may be nearby. Oh, you fear barbarians will swoop down upon you. Yes, swooping is bad. She's a witch of the wilds, she is. She'll turn us into toads. Witch of the wilds. Such idle fancies, those legends. Have you no minds of your own? You there. Elves are not frightened little boys. Tell me your name and I shall tell you mine. I am Koss, a pleasure to meet you. Now that is a proper civil greeting, even here in the wilds. You may call me Morrigan. Shall I guess your purpose? You sought something in that chest? Something that is here no longer? Here no longer? You stole them, didn't you? You're some kind of sneaky witch thief. How very eloquent. How does one steal from dead men? Quite easily, it seems. Those documents are Grey Warden property, and I suggest you return them. I will not, for it was not I who removed them. Invoke a name that means nothing here any longer if you wish. I am not threatened. Ah, uh, then who did remove them? Twas my mother, in fact. Uh, your mother? Yes, my mother. Did you assume I spawned from a log? A thieving, weird talking log, perhaps? Not all in the wilds are monsters. Flowers grow as well as toads. If you wish, I will take you to my mother. Tis not far from here, and you may ask her for your papers if you like. We should get those treaties, but I dislike this Morrigan's sudden appearance. It's too convenient. Uh, tell us more about your mother first. She prefers her privacy, but I imagine she will be curious enough why you were here. Come, see for yourself. I want an honest answer. Are you a witch of the wilds? Have I been dishonest? Some call us witches, yes, but purely out of superstition. You know what the Circle of Magi is, don't you? The Circle requires an accounting of all mages. That is the law of the land and the Chantry. If you wish to tell your Chantry about me, go ahead. I have nothing to fear from priests. Why are you interested in helping us? Why not? I do not meet many people here. Are you all so mistrustful? Uh, I say we go with her. She'll put us all in the pot, she will. Just you watch. If the pot's warmer than this forest, it'd be a nice change. Follow me then, if it pleases you. Greetings, Mother. I bring before you four Grey Wardens who... I see them, girl. Hmm. Much as I expected. Are we supposed to believe you were expecting us? You are required to do nothing, least of all believe. Shut one's eyes tight or open one's arms wide. Either way, one's a fool. She's a witch, I tell you. We shouldn't be talking to her. Quiet, Dareth. If she's really a witch, do you want to make her mad? There is a smart lad. Sadly irrelevant to the larger scheme of things, but it is not I who decides. Believe what you will. And what of you? Does your elven mind give you a different viewpoint? What do you believe? I'm not sure what to believe. A statement that possesses more wisdom than it implies. Be always aware. Or is it oblivious? I can never remember. So much about you is uncertain. And yet I believe. Do I? What? It seems I do. So this is a dreaded Witch of the Wilds. Witch of the Wilds, huh? 
Morrigan must have told you that. She fancies such tales, though she would never admit it. Oh, how she dances under the moon. <laughs> they did not come to listen to your wild tales, Mother. True. They came for their treaties, yes? And before you begin barking, your precious seal wore off long ago. I have protected these. You... Oh, you protected them. And why not? Take them to your Grey Wardens and tell them this Blight's threat is greater than they realize. Man, what do you mean by that? Either the threat is more, or they realize less. Or perhaps the threat is nothing. <laughs> or perhaps they realize nothing. <laughs> oh, do not mind me. <laughs> you have what you came for. Time for you to go, then. Do not be ridiculous, girl. These are your guests. Oh, very well. I will show you out of the woods. Follow me. Two really fun characters. So I gotta say that uh, only within the last few years did I get into statue collecting. And I'm like, I'm pretty particular when it comes to statues. Like I want something that I would like, that's like super high quality and like stuff that I think is like really cool. So when this statue came on the market, I was like, I must have it. So this was like a hundred and, um, I forget which company made these, but this, uh, yeah, this was like a hundred and, I, was, I think it was, it was under like 200 bucks, but it was like 150 or something like that. But this is, yeah, like an actual, uh, really, really nice high quality Morgan statue. Yeah, it's pretty, uh, pretty cool. So you return from the wilds. Have you been successful? You betcha we have. Good. I've had the circle mages preparing. With the blood you've retrieved, we can begin the joining immediately. Maybe we should tell you about Morgan and her mother. There was a woman at the tower, and her mother had the scrolls. They were both very... Odd. Were they wilder folk? I don't think so. They might be apostates. Mages hiding from the Chantry. I know you were once a Templar, Alistair, but Chantry business is not ours. We have the scrolls. Let us focus on the joining. I will not lie. We Grey Wardens pay a heavy price to become what we are. Fate may decree that you pay your price now rather than later. Is that why the joining is so secretive? If only such secrecy were unnecessary, and all understood the necessity of such sacrifice. Sadly, that will never be so. Let's go then. I'm anxious to see this joining now. I agree. Let's have it done. Then let us begin. Alistair, take them to the old temple. Here we go, chat. The more I hear about this joining, the less I like it. Are you blubbering again? Why all these damn tests? Have I not earned my place? Maybe it's tradition. Maybe they're just trying to annoy you. Calm down. There's nothing we can do about it. I only know that my wife is in Hyover with a child on the way. If they had warned me, I... It just doesn't seem fair. Would you have come if they'd warned you? Maybe that's why they don't. The Wardens do what they must, right? Including sacrificing us? I'd sacrifice a lot more if I knew it would end the Blight. Well, you make a good point. 
You saw those darkspawns tonight. Wouldn't you die to protect your pretty wife from them? I am... Maybe you'll die. Maybe we'll all die. If nobody stops the darkspawn, we'll die for sure. I've just never faced a foe I could not engage with my blade. At last, we come to the joining. The Grey Wardens were founded during the First Blight, when humanity stood on the verge of annihilation. So it was that the first Grey Wardens drank of Darkspawn blood and mastered their taint. We're going to drink the blood of those... those creatures? As the first Grey Wardens did before us, as we did before you. This is the source of our power and our victory. Those who survive the joining become immune to the taint. We can sense it in the Darkspawn and use it to slay the Archdemon. Let's get on with it. We speak only a few words prior to the joining, but these words have been said since the first. Alistair, if you would. Join us, brothers and sisters. Join us in the shadows where we stand vigilant. Join us as we carry the duty that cannot be forsworn. And should you perish, know that your sacrifice will not be forgotten. And that one day, we shall join you. Davith, step forward. Sorry, Davith. Step forward, Jory. But I have a wife, a child. Had I known... There is no turning back. No. You ask too much. Th there is no glory in this. I am sorry. You took a nasty fall. But the joining is not yet complete. You are called upon to submit yourself to the taint for the greater good. From this moment forth, you are a Grey Warden. Unless I die, of course. It is finished. Welcome. Two more deaths. In my joining, only one of us died, but it was horrible. I'm glad at least one of you made it through. How do you feel? The pain was unbelievable. Such is what it takes to be a Grey Warden. Did you have dreams? I had terrible dreams after my joining. Such dreams come when you begin to sense the dark spawn, as we all do. That and many other things can be explained in the months to come. Before I forget, there is one last part to your joining. We take some of that blood and put it in a pendant. Something to remind us of those who didn't make it this far. Take some time. When you're ready, I'd like you to accompany me to a meeting with the king. Very well. The meeting is to the west, down the stairs. Please attend as soon as you're able. Another level up. We're leveling up quick, chat. Uh, let's do one strength, one dex. I'll uh, get con to 20. Uh, what is this skill? Threatened warrior. The warrior adapts a challenging posture. Uh, I don't think I want to... What, what, what's that? Bravery into... 
Death Blow. Relaxed position that makes the warriors seem less threatening. Well, I don't want to do that. So I might be done in the warrior tree then. So here we have the character has learned to compensate for the weight of a shield in combat. No longer suffers an attack penalty when using a shield. Done. Wait, do I have another point? Oh, I do have two. What is this one? Shield wall. In this mode, a character shield becomes nearly a fortress, adding a significant bonus to armor and the greater likelihood of shrugging off missile attacks. Sure. That sounds great. If the king wants to see you and Duncan, you probably shouldn't keep him waiting. He might get mad, start crying. You'll feel bad and, well, it won't be pretty. Oh, is my inventory actually? Oh, my inventory is maxed out. Whale shoot. Uh, here real quick, let me go through all the items that I have. So that's better. Now this is chain mail. I want to be in full chain, and then I think I can probably just get rid of everything else that I have. Uh, there's that. Leather armor. Now this is iron. Uh, so that's actually better there. I didn't loot like a better weapon, did I? Actually, I did. So that's a... Can I do a longsword as a main and still have a shield? Yes, I can. I got the, the great sword is two-handed. I should probably put a bow on me, even though I won't really use it. So that is a five. That's a six. That's an eight. Uh, just throw that on as a backup weapon. Darkspawn staff. Did I loot a better shield? Oh, way better shield. Couldn't slap that baby on. Let's see here. What do I want for... So that's a plus one to all. That's three to con. I guess for now I'm going to put on the lucky stone. And then let's uh, hit up that vendor guy. Sell like all the armor and stuff I have. Oh yeah, he was over here. Hello again. Is there something you need? Some supplies, perhaps? Uh, oh, yeah. We didn't see what his other goods were. So long as you keep it quiet. Oh, so you actually have some healing potions and stuff. Firebomb. You actually have a battle axe and a maul. A lot of this stuff is very expensive and uh, out of my. Um... So that's a that's a one-handed dagger. Well, this is gonna get me a lot of money. What is this? Why is that worth sixteen gold? Do I need arrows and bolts? I guess we'll just get rid of this stuff for now. I don't know what's going on with this bow and why it's so much money. No, I don't need any of this. That I will keep. I think that's some special... Uh... Get rid of that. Oh, I forgot I had the uh, blood dragon plate. That's a, uh, like a pre-order bonus. And I think I want to keep all that stuff for now. Okay, that, uh, fixed things up a little bit. Where's that blood dragon armor at? 
Oh, I need 38 strength. That's a, a cool shield. I mean, funny enough, the defense on that shield is not... It's got a lot of cool stats on it, though. Okay. Oh, we gotta go turn in the dog quest. The Mabari's stable for now, but not improving. Unless I get that herb I told you about, there's not much hope. Here it is. Let me see. Yeah, that's exactly it. Wonderful. Uh, give me a moment and I'll make this into an ointment. <laughs> he looks better already. I'm sure he'd thank you himself if he could. How long before there's an improvement? A day, maybe two. There's enough ointment for him to make a full recovery. Why not come back after the battle? Perhaps we can see about imprinting him on you. Oh, you think that's possible? Maybe. It's likely he understands you're responsible for curing him. Mabari are at least as smart as your average tax collector. Come back after the battle and just... What? Or take another look. Tax collecting. All right. Actually, I think... Can I go this way? Here we go. Logain, my decision is final. I will stand by the Grey Wardens in this assault. You risk too much, Kaelin. The Darkspawn Horde is too dangerous for you to be playing hero on the front lines. That's the case. Perhaps we should wait for the Orlesian forces to join us after all. I must repeat my protest to your full notion that we need the Orlesians to defend ourselves. It is not a full notion. Our arguments with the Orlesians are a thing of the past, and you will remember who is king. How fortunate Marek did not live to see his son ready to hand Ferelden over to those who enslaved us for a century. Then our current forces will have to suffice, won't they? Duncan, are your men ready for battle? They are, your majesty. And this is the recruit I met earlier on the road? I understand congratulations are in order. Thank you. Every Grey Warden is needed now. You should be honored to join their ranks. Your fascination with glory and legends will be your undoing, Kaelin. We must attend to reality. Fine. Speak your strategy. The Grey Wardens and I draw the Darkspawn into charging our lights, and then? You will alert the tower to light the beacon, signaling my men to charge from To flank the Darkspawn, I remember. This is the Tower of Ishal in the ruins, yes? Well, who shall light this beacon? I have a few men stationed there. It's not a dangerous task, but it is vital. Then we should send our best. Send Alistair and the new Grey Warden to make sure it's done. Uh, I'll do what I can, Your Majesty. You rely on these Grey Wardens too much. Is that truly wise? Enough of your conspiracy theories, Loghain. Grey Wardens battle the Blight no matter where they're from. Your Majesty, you should consider the possibility of the Archdemon appearing. There have been no signs of any dragons in the wilds. Isn't that what your men are here for, Duncan? I... yes, Your Majesty. Your Majesty, the tower and its beacon are unnecessary. The we will of not Major... trust any lives to your spells, Mage. Save them for the Darkspawn. Enough. This plan will suffice. The Grey Wardens will light the beacon. Thank you, Loghain. I cannot wait for that glorious moment. The Grey Wardens battle beside the King of Ferelden to stem the tide of evil. Yes, Kaelin. A glorious moment for us all. You heard the plan. You and Alistair will go to the Tower of Ishal and ensure the beacon is lit. What? I won't be in the battle. This is by the King's personal request, Alistair. If the beacon is not lit, Tern Loghain's men won't know when to charge. So he needs two Grey Wardens standing up there holding the torch, just in case, right? I agree with Alistair. We should both be in the battle. That is not your choice. If King Kaelin wishes Grey Wardens to ensure the beacon is lit, then Grey Wardens will be there. We must do whatever it takes to destroy the Darkspawn, exciting or no. I get it, I get it. 
Just so you know, if the king ever asks me to put on a dress and dance the Remigold, I'm drawing the line. Darkspawn or no. You have some odd ideas about the king. I happen to be quite fetching in a dress. Mm. The tower is on the other side of the gorge from the king's camp, the way we came when we arrived. You'll need to cross the gorge and head through the gate and up to the tower entrance. From the top, you'll overlook the entire valley. When do we light the beacon? We will signal you when the time is right. Alistair will know what to look for. Can we join the battle afterwards? Stay with the Terran's men and guard the tower. If you are needed, we will send word. And what if the Archdemon appears? We soil our drawers, that's what. If it does, leave it to us. I want no heroics from either of you. So how much time do we have? The battle is about to begin. Once I leave, move quickly. You'll have less than an hour. Okay. Then I must join the others. From here, you two are on your own. Remember, you are both Grey Wardens. I expect you to be worthy of that title. Duncan, may the Maker watch over you. May he watch over us all. I might go buy some more healing potions. How many do I have? Like two? I think that vendor sold some. Let's just get to the tower. There may not be the most Oh, I gotta, I gotta level you brutal. up. Um, you need Khan, buddy. All your points are going into Khan. Oh, you're already set to Templar. He's got special Templar points. Um, He's like already a higher level than me. Let's do... <laughs> Let's do Threaten on you. Oh no, is that blacksmith gone? Oh, wait. Crap, he's not here. Wait, one of your par member, party members has fallen in combat. Wait, what? Is that an old pop-up? Okay, we gotta go across the bridge. Well, Alistair, we got to do this with, like, two heals, so. Oh, another crash. Good times. This game crashes at, like, the most random times. I will say it's possible one of my mods is making it crash. I mean, it's not been bad. We're coming up on four hours. It's like crashed twice, so it's not terrible. No, 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 no. Is that the last save that I have? It says 241. So it was actually only like seven minutes ago, but... Hold on, where, where am I at here? What? Of course. Okay. Uh, hold on. Is there a way that I can enable um, more auto saves? I 
I'm just, I, I'm going to have to remember we got to save like every five minutes. That's my fault. Yeah, I don't think there's any way to increase auto saves. Will be done. After that guy. Now you die. The hell shall it be? Go. You have forced my hand. I don't know what he's doing. It was rallying. Okay, we lost like 10 minutes because this is where we meet Morgan and then we go right back to the camp, so. Yes. What say you, hmm? Scavenger or intruder? Uh, okay. A towel, I, and I'm gonna go through the same options here. You there. Elves are not frightened. No. I will not, for it was not I who removed them. Twas my mother, in fact. We should get those treaties, but I have I been if you wish to tell your chantry about me, go ahead. I she prefers her privacy, but I imagine she why not? I do not meet me. She'll put us all in the if the follow me. I see oh, we... you she And what of you? Does your elven mind a st you and why not? Take them to your Grey Wardens and tell them this Blight's threat is either the... Th what do you mean? Uh. And now we're back at the camp. Uh, let me hard save here just for fun. Because I don't trust this game. So you return from the wilds. Have you been success? Good. I've had the circle mage. There was. Well, I don't. Th I know you were once a Templar, Alistair, but Chantry business is not ours. We have the scrolls. Let us. F I will not lie. We Grey Wardens pay a heavy price to become what we are. If. A Let's go. I agree. Then let. Are you. What? Maybe it's tradition. Maybe they're just trying to annoy you. I'm. Would Calm you. Down. I'd sacrifice a lot more if I knew it would end the blight. But we don't know that. Don't you, uh, maybe. I've just. At last, we come to the joining. Let's get on with it. We. S Two more. How do you feel? Uh, I'm in pain. Such is what it. Did you have dream? Such. Before I. We take. Take some time. When you're ready, I'd like. The Very meeting well. is to. Okay. Oh, actually, this gives me a chance to um, go to this vendor again. Hello again. Is there something you need? So I was actually going to buy supplies, some potions perhaps. anyway, so... Okay. Well, let me know what you'd like. Okay. So. Short bow can go. I can go. Did uh, I, you know, I'm going to just double check. Did I go through my character and give him the best gear? No, I didn't. Okay. And that's a five. There was a better shield. 
Oh, you know what? I think I might have to level up first. Is this where I did one to that, one to that, one to that, I think, maybe? And then I took shield balance and shield wall. Hello again. Is there something you need? Some sup Let me know what... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Before I do that. Okay, so there's that shield. We'll swap that. That's a 4-5. Oh, right. Ring. I did Lucky Stone. Oh, that's right. I was going to give myself a... Uh, well, that's, that's fine. Well, I'll loot another bow at some point. Oh, I was going to swap swords, too. Uh, again, I'll loot another sword somewhere else. I'm not that concerned about it. I could just buy from him. Hello again. Is there something you need? Some... Let me know what you... Actually, there's a buy back. Oh, wait, that's sell back. Hold on. Or never mind. That I'm going to keep. The clothes we can sell. Okay. Um. Man, that's expensive. That is a better sword than what I was using. Actually, that's a better mace. That sword is a 7-7. Seven, seven. The mace is a 6. I'll take that. That bow is a six. That bow is a six. The crossbow is an eight. Uh, I just need one. Healing potions. All of them? How many lesser injury kits do I have on me? None. This pack is designed to distribute weight evenly, letting explorers... Each backpack purchase will automatically... Oh, inventory increase. Hell yeah. Um, let me buy... I have the money, so I'm just going to buy those. Okay, is there anything else I wanted to sell to you? Okay, so here real quick. Longsword and... Crossbow... Okay, I think we're, uh, we're good. Wait, what? Oh, it's just weird that it's showing arrows on me. And this is the recruit I met earlier on Thank the Thank you. To fly. Then we should send our best. I'll do my best. You're what? This so he needs two Grey Wardens standing up there holding the torch just in case, right? I agree with Alistair. We I get it, I get it. Just so you know, if the king ever asks me to put on a dress... You have some I odd, have uh, the things about the king. You need to cross the gorge and head through the... When we will light. signal you when the time is right. Alice, our steam appears. If it does, leave it to us. Can we join later. Stay with the Terran's men and guard the tower. How much time you, do we have? The battle is about to begin. Once I, then I must join. Duncan, may he. Okay. Now we do a hard save. All right.
The plan will work, Your Majesty. Of course it will. The blight ends here. Let the battle begin. Archers! Uh, dogs. For Ferelden! Let's cross the bridge and get to the tower of Ishal. Yep, let's go. Oh, wait, 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 Alistair, you gotta level up. Uh, I think I was doing all con for you. And then I was doing... Shield defense? He's dead, Jim. Uh, push them back. Help me. They're everywhere. You, you're Grey Wardens, aren't you? The tower, it's been taken. What are you talking about, man? Taken how? The Darkspawn came up through the lower chambers. They're everywhere. Most of our men are dead. Then we have to get to the beacon and light it ourselves. All right, you guys are with me. Uh, what, uh, what are you, what's your deal? So you're an archer and you're a, a spellcaster. Wait, what? Warning, the no helmet mod failed to hide the helmets. This is likely due to an incompatibility with a loaded module. Okay. Well, if that's gonna what's gonna make me crash, I might have to uninstall it. Wait, where's my shield? Why don't I have a shield out? What's going on here? I'm confused. Oh, it's... okay. I have a shield equipped, but it's not showing it. Hey, mage, uh, you wanna take that guy, archer, who's not an archer right now, you wanna take that guy? Let's grab some glory! 
Of noise. Oh, you guys got him? All right, cool. I might reload the game here real quick since uh, it's acting goofy. As you say. Very well. The only person that needs Lyrium is the mage. Uh, I'm gonna do another hard save here, and uh, I'm gonna do a reload here. See if it fixes the visuals. I can't see my shield. What the hell was that? Well, I got my shield back. We just got kaleidoscoped. That was weird. Oh, this isn't even where we want to be. Of course. Also, this is not even the same shield that I had before. Weird enough. Dark spawn! Beware! <laughs> Uh, let's stop for one second here. Uh, tower guard, I need you to be in archer mode and stay in archer mode. Behavior ranged. Oh, maybe that was my mistake. I wasn't, uh, like on that other guy. So, Alistair, behavior, defensive. My guy, whatever. Mage, ranged, and stay ranged. Okay, cool. Pretty cool. Wait, what are you shooting at? Good knockdown. I got ads. Very well. Alright, you take that one, I'll take this one. It will be done. Where's my other two guys at? Oh, is there a dude down? Oh, wait, are you guys hitting from here? Hold on, you move to there and you move to here. Uh, I hate to burn a heal right now. Well, crap, I'm down. Lightning. Like, I'm trying to, um, not burn healing potions, because I know I'm going to need them later. 
Actually, I guess I have a, an injury. I got a cracked skull. Does this show... I mean, I have that repair kit or whatever. Does that fix that problem? Where's that? Where's that at? Is that under here? Oh, yeah, yeah, this. Or does that not fix this? Use an injury kit or visit the party camp. Okay, yeah, yeah, that fixed it. Okay, cool. Is anybody else injured? Nope. We're good. As long as I'm picking up more healing potions, we're, uh, we're good. What is that weird? That's got to be one of the add-ons, like, glitching out. That's so weird. Ow. I don't know what this green thing is that we're in here, but I don't like it. All right, let's pause here for a second. Let's have everybody focus fire. Alistair, I hope you know what you're doing. At your command. How do you have no health? My power is gone. Now you die. Alistair, did you not do this heal? What is going on here? What does this do? Arcane shield. The caster generates protective shield. Dude, my guy is gonna die. Okay, so you're attacking that guy. You attack this guy. Oh, God. I am just burning through heels like mad. Now you die. Actually, it would help if we actually have a healer on the team, which we don't right now. Not unless I can change this mage into a healer. Oh, I don't have any flasks. 
I could do some basic healing potions if I had um, the flasks on me. There's a chest over here. Of course it's locked. What uh what do you have for items? You have an eight. Oh, you also have a ten. Okay. What's our mage guy have for stuff? Can you wear those boots? Oh wait, that like encumbers, well, fatigue. Oh, I'm actually at a 10 on my, um, still that should be fine. Six to defense, three to con. Three to cunning. Five percent chance to dodge attacks. That's resistance. One health regeneration in combat reduces hostility, which I don't want. Actually, Alistair, I could throw some of this stuff on you. Let's give you the armor. Let's give you the... Oh, wait. What is this coin? Willpower and mental resist? Backstab damage. So that's a, a, a rogue ring. And I don't want to reduce your hostility. I want to increase it, if anything. Oh, wait, that's a belt? Oh. Wait, that's also a belt? Oh, he has a cracked skull now. Well, shoot. Which way are we going? I only got three healing potions left. to be burning these right now. Oh, our boys outside have two on them. Of course. Yeah, I've got to be able to get through these fights without using a healing potion. I'm injured. I will need to tend to these wounds in time. What? No, you're not. You're fine. You're just fine. 
So just confirm, you can't open this, right? Nope. We don't have a rogue in the group. Is that a better item than what um, Alistair has? He's using a 7-7, seven, seven, so nope. So there's a... Wait, what? Oh, that's a gift? I just... I don't trust this game. And, uh... Now, I, I gotta look here real quick. Which of these defensive items is actually better for me? While this mode is active, the character drops into a defensive stance that favors the shield, granting a bonus to defensive and increases the chance to shrug off. And this is become nearly a fortress, setting some bonus to armor. I guess shield wall is better. I really have no reason to, like, ever use the other one. Okay, so I can use pre precise striking and shield wall at the same time. Hello? Check in the hallway. Everybody good? Hold, hold. Okay, it will be done. I will not What are you guys doing back here? I don't trust these guys like standing there. Now you die. <laughs> Why is every chest locked? Man, you're really penalized for not having a rogue in the group. Not that I really have a choice. I mean, I could be a rogue. It will be done. Make his breath. What are these Darkspawn doing ahead of the rest of the Horde? There wasn't supposed to be any resistance here. You know, you could try telling them that they're in the wrong place. Right, because clearly this is all just a misunderstanding. We'll laugh about this later. At any rate, we need to hurry. We need to get up to the top of the tower and light the signal fire in time. Tyron Loghain will be waiting for the signal. This room looks fun. Iron ring. Another chest I can't open. You guys take that one. I'll take this one. I totally hit the wrong button there, chat. I accidentally uh, deactivated my uh, shield. Yay, more heals. Okay, reactivate shield wall. Yes. Another lock. How many lock chest? Fires the missiles. Dang it, I did it again. I hit the wrong button. Okay, there's a lot of guys in this room. 
lot of guys. Let's focus fire the best we can. You're on him. You're on him. At your command. Okay. You're on him. You're on him. I need you two to move up. Okay, hold. You're on him. Uh, actually, that guy's almost dead. Just go ahead and finish him off. Where shall I? Crash number three? Or is that four? This is why I'm getting crazy about saving every couple minutes. I don't trust this game anymore. Of course. Hard part is, don't know which one. Obviously, I, I didn't lose too much time there. Only like a couple minutes. Because this is the room that we were fighting in, so... Fire the ballistas! As you said. Got more. As you said. You haven't used mods in any playthrough? Yeah, to me, I, like, I fired up the game because that's the first thing I checked. Because I've never played on PC. Like, every run I've ever done many years ago was on the 360. And. My biggest problem was the interface was so small. And I was trying to see if there was like a singular mod that would just increase the scale of the interface. If there is, I can't find it. So I had to install like multiple mods to like redo individual elements of the interface in order to get it like better. Good 
job, guys. You know, something about this that I do not remember... Like, out of combat, your health and mana and stuff regening... I don't recall that being a thing in this game. Did they add that in, like... Recently? Because, like, I swear... It was always a thing where it's like, oh, my mana's low. I need uh, mana potions, like, all the time. But everything is regening out of combat now. Nope. No, I didn't use mod manager. I mean, there was only one that required mod manager, and that was the hide helmet one. The rest of them, um, I couldn't even get to work with the mod manager. Yeah, most of the mods were very easy to install because in because when you install There's a folder that goes into my documents and it's like Bioware Dragon Age and then uh, there's like an override and Most of the files just go into the override and that's it uh, The only other one that's a little bit different is I'm, I'm running a mod that makes the game look better and that mod actually has its own installer like, it's like a big professional mod. And funny enough, when you run the installer for that mod, it actually has three different um, styles for making the game look better. And you actually choose one of the three. It's like, do you want it to look like this? Do you want it to look like this? Like, there's, there's one version that makes the game, that well, makes all the characters look way more pretty, which is kind of weird. And I'm like, no, I don't want that one. I will not have done well. Ooh, that might be something for Alistair. Chainmail boots. What do you know? Another locked chest. Story of my life. Uh, that is not better. That is not better. That is not better. Alistair? You're not even wearing a helmet. Nope. And nope. One of those guys is a rogue. Uh, I think he is, but he doesn't have the, like, lockpick ability or whatever the heck it is. Yeah, this guy. Or his skill isn't high enough or something. I mean, he, I mean, he's listed as town guard. Maybe he's not technically a rogue. Where's, um... Okay, I get... Yeah, he's a warrior, I guess. He's not a rogue. Wait. Oh, I'm on the wrong guy. I was like, why am I wearing a crossbow? Bogain better be ready to charge as soon as we light the signal. The king is depending on us. Oop, sorry. We 
will be done. Hold on. Let me uh, get this guy out of here. Zirkin. Everybody, uh, re mana up here. So, what stat do I need to get more, um, stamina? I'm at a 15% reduction, but. Is it strength or. Co probably strength, right? Maybe? Hold. At your command. the hound. <laughs> Not as well. I could unleash you, I would. Oh, there's a lever here. Yes. Let's go, doggos. It will be done. Another locked chest. Hey, there's some heals. Very well. Grey Warden recruit shield. Bork, 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 bork. <laughs> Nope, come here, you're me. Come on. Now you die. Oh god, all of our guys in the back line just got nuked. How did that even happen? Very well. There is no hope for you now! Need to burn all the heals here. Was rough. Uh, I see we were victorious. Good. Also, where's all those dogs that were supposed to help us? No, I don't recall the name of that mod without looking. 
Oh, I got another lesser injury kit. Well, do I want to burn one of those kits? That's the question. How many do I got left? I have three. Oh, oh, you've got uh, penalty to attack. All right, let's fix that. I guess let's fix it until we uh, can't do it that no more. Um, here real quick, I'm going to jump on my second computer here and I can try and tell you what that mod is. Um, Let me see here. And also, like, I went under Nexus mods, and I just searched by, like, what are some of the most popular mods of all time? And honestly, that didn't really help uh, too much. Um, but the mod you're looking for is called the Dragon Age Redesign. It is actually the most popular mod of all time. And actually, the helmet hack uh, is the um, third downloaded mod. But that might be the mod that's causing all my problems. But yeah, the Dragon Age Redesign. Yeah, yep. That's the that's the good one. Yeah, it, like, and like I said, it has its own installer. You'll have to do a little bit of research on that page um, to figure out like what version you want to actually install when it comes up with that option. Never use mods. Uh, I actually have also never really modded a game before. This is like the first one. I probably spent a couple good hours like figuring out how it all works and all that fun stuff. The th but I I'll tell you, the thing that confused me the most is when I started researching it is like everybody said install the um, actually let me go, let me go back here real quick. Everybody said download the mod manager. And so then I started downloading like, again, like the Dragon Age redesign mod and I'm like, why can't I get it to work with this mod manager? And I spent like way too long figuring out that that mod manager is like useless. Like I said, the only one that I had to use the mod manager for was the uh, hide helmet one. The rest of them, you just like read this very simple instructions and it just does its own thing. And like I said, most of them just go into that that folder. Like you like, like take like one thing and you drag it into the folder and that's that's it. So... But no, it's the Dragon Age redesign. Dragon Age overhaul. I don't know if I looked at that one or not. Well, I guess I'm getting more uh, injury kits. Very well. I will say the nice thing about the uh, the text mods that I downloaded is that you can like change the size of like all the text and stuff in the game, and it, and it also puts the text in a more readable font. Oh, 
be done. Is that it? This will not end well. Another point. Oh man, the big chest that's locked. Uh, that's a great sword. That's a two hand, right? Yep. Me no want that. Uh-oh. We got a problem, chat. Okay, 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 okay. You back off. You back off. Yes. Ah! Now you see true power! Hey, you, back up. Did I have uh, some poison or acid or something I can... Uh... Oh, that requires poison making. Do, 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 do. This fight, it's like we gotta pull out all the stops. Of course. Uh, hey, Alistair. You wanna pop the greater heel here? Get up, get up, get up. My power is gone. Down you go! Put me down! Uh, don't I have to, like, shield bash him or something? Otherwise... Hold on, what's my problem here? Okay. Hey, mage, I need you to use every big spell that you have right now, alright? I am ready. Literally everything you have. At your command. Get up, get up, get up, come on. Of course. Hey, good job, guys. The beacon is over here. We surely got a new rune. We missed the signal. Let's light it quickly before it's too late. Uh, let me save here just in case we crash. All right, everybody, eyes up. Tribal necklace. Yeah, I just, I haven't done quick save yet. Here we go. Sound the retreat. But what about the king? Should we not- Do as I command. Pull out, all of you, let's move.
Well, it's been fun chat. That's Dragon Age. Ah, your eyes finally open. Mother shall be pleased. Why'd you take my clothes off? What happened to the Darkspawn? You were injured, and then Mother rescued you. Do you not remember? Wait, what happened to the army, to the king? The man who was to respond to your signal quit the field. The Darkspawn won your battle. Those he abandoned were massacred. Your friend, he is not taking it well. What happened to the Grey Wardens and the king? All dead. Your friend has veered between denial and grief since Mother told him. He is outside by the fire. Mother asked to see you when you awoke. Were my injuries severe? Yes, but I expect you shall be fine. The Darkspawn did nothing Mother could not heal. What about Alistair? Is he okay? He is, as you are. I suppose it would be unkind to say he is being childish. Thank you for, uh, for helping me. I... You were welcome. Though Mother did most of the work, I am no healer. Why does your mother want to see me? I do not know. She rarely tells me her plans. Okay. I will stay and make something to eat. Achievement unlocked. The last of the wardens. Why is every chest locked? Yes. That's what I want to know. See, here is your fellow Grey Warden. You worry too much, young man. You, you're alive. <laughs> I thought you were dead for sure. Uh, I'm fine, I appreciate your concern. Oh, this doesn't seem real. If it weren't for Morrigan's mother, we'd be dead on top of that tower. Do not talk about me as if I am not present, lad. I, yes, I didn't Captain. mean... But, but what do we call you? You've, ne you've never told us your name? Names are pretty, but useless. The chastened folk call me Flemeth. I suppose it will do. The Flemeth? From the legends? Daveth was right. You're the Witch of the Wilds, aren't you? And what does that mean? I know a bit of magic, and it has served you both well, has it not? So why did you save us? Well, we cannot have all the Grey Wardens dying at once, can we? Someone has to deal with these dark spawn. It has always been the Grey Wardens' duty to unite the lands against the Blight. Or did that change when I wasn't looking? Of course not. But we were fighting the Dark Spawn. The King had nearly defeated them. Why would Loghain do this? Now that is a good question. Men's hearts hold shadows darker than any tainted creature. Perhaps he believes the Blight is an army he can outmaneuver. Perhaps he does not see that the evil behind it is the true threat. The Archdemon. What is the Archdemon exactly? It is said that long ago, the Maker sent the old gods of the ancient Tevinter Imperium to slumber in prisons deep beneath the surface. An Archdemon is an old god awakened and tainted by Darkspawn. Believe that or not, history says it's a fearsome and immortal thing, and only fools ignore history. We should contact the rest of the Grey Wardens. Kaelin already summoned them. They'll come if they can, but... I expect Loghain has already taken steps to stop them. We must assume they won't arrive in time. Will you help us fight the Blight, Fem Flemeth? Me? I am just an old woman who lives in the wilds. I know nothing of Blights and Darkspawn. Well... 
Whatever Loghain's insanity, he obviously thinks the Dark Spawn are a minor threat. We must warn everyone this isn't the case. And who will believe you? Unless you think to convince this Loghain of his mistake. He just betrayed his own king! If Al Eamon knew what he did at Ostagar, he would be the first to call for his execution. Ah, uh, he's the Owl of Redcliffe? I suppose. Al Eamon wasn't at Ostagar. He still has all his men. And he was Kalen's uncle. I know him. He's a good man, respected in the landsmeet. Of course, we could go to Redcliffe and appeal to him for help. Surely there are other allies we can call on. Of course. The treaties. Grey Wardens can demand aid from dwarves, elves, mages, and other places. They're obligated to help us during a blight. I may be old, but dwarves, elves, mages, this Arl Eamon, and who knows what else. This sounds like an army to me. So can we do this? Go to Redcliffe and these other places and build an army? Uh, why not? Isn't that what Grey Wardens do? So you are set then, ready to be Grey Wardens. Uh, I don't suppose you could offer any more help? Now that you mention it, I do have one more thing to offer. The stew is bubbling, Mother dear. Shall we have two guests for the eve, or none? The Grey Wardens are leaving shortly, girl. And you will be joining them. Such a shame. What? You heard me, girl. The last time I looked, you had ears. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, thank you, but if Morgan doesn't want to join us... Uh... Her magic will be useful. Even better, she knows the wilds and how to get past the Horde. Have I no say in this? You have been itching to get out of the wilds for years. Here is your chance. As for you, Wardens, consider this repayment for your lives. Uh, very well. She can come. Not to look a gift horse in the mouth, but won't this add to our problems? Out of the wilds, she's an apostate. If you do not wish help from us illegal mages, young man, perhaps I should have left you on that tower. Point taken. Mother, this is not how I wanted this. I'm not even ready. You must be ready. Alone, these two must unite for Eldon against the Darkspawn. They need you, Morrigan. Without you, they will surely fail, and all will perish under the Blight. Even I. I... understand. And you, Wardens, do you understand? I give you that which I value above all in this world. I do this because you must succeed. I understand. Allow me to get my things, if you please. I am at your disposal, Grey Wardens. I suggest a village north of the wilds as our first destination. It is not far, and you will find much you need there. Or, if you prefer, I shall simply be your silent guide. The choice is yours. No, I prefer you to speak your mind. <laughs> you will regret saying that. Dear sweet mother, you are so kind to cast me out like this. How fondly I shall remember this moment. Well, I always said, if you want something done, do it yourself. Or hear about it for a decade or two afterwards. I just... Do you really want to take her along because her mother says so? And we do need all the help we can get. I guess you're right. The Grey Wardens have always taken allies where they could find them. I am so pleased to have your approval. Actually, I have some questions. I may have answers. Ask. Have you uh, never been outside the wilds? From time to time. I have been to the village I mentioned, watched its people, and pondered what curious beings they are. On occasion, I purchased goods from the village merchants. There I spoke with men a little. 
There they stared and knew me as an outsider. Mother wishes for me to expand the horizon of my experience beyond the wilds. Even she was not born here. Uh, tell me about this village to the north. It is a small place of little consequence called Lothering. No more than a stop along your Imperial Highway where travelers purchase goods from local farms and smiths. I would go more often were it not for the town's chantry. It makes the village particularly intolerant and unpleasant for a stranger such as me. A chantry? And they never in all this time thought that maybe you were a witch? Of course they have. They even called out their Templars once. They found nothing. So how are we going to get past the Darkspawn? The real question is how we are going to get your friend past the Darkspawn, is it not? That's true. We can sense the Darkspawn. Conversely, they can sense us. Hmm, I'm not currently sensing any Darkspawn. You won't right away. No. It takes time. We should be able to sneak past smaller groups, but larger ones, or particularly intelligent Darkspawn, will always detect us. Mother has given me something else for them to smell instead as we pass by. It is important we head out of the wilds, however, not farther in. The Darkspawn are camped further in the forest? Yes? No? They come from underground, like an eruption. They broke through deep within the forest, and that is where they will be most concentrated. What skills do you have exactly? I know a few spells, though I am nowhere near as powerful as Mother. I have also studied history and your Grey Warden treaties. Can you cook? I can cook, yes. Never mind him, you don't have to cook. You missed your chance. Now it's Child Rabbit from here on out. I have no more questions. Farewell, Mother. Do not forget the stew on the fire. I would hate to return to a burned down hut. Bah! Tis far more likely you will return to see this entire area, along with my hut, swallowed up by the blight. I... All I meant was... Yes, I know. Do try to have fun, dear. All right. Getting a billion new quests. Let's go to level up here. Oh. Um, so I wanted to look at this here real quick. Wonder how much uh, change in attitudes and costumes have this made today? Higher con directly increases the amount of damage. With higher willpower, mages can okay. Okay, uh, let's just keep doing what I've been doing. Okay, we actually have a skill level up we can do now. Um, do I? I don't want to do stealing. I don't want to do trap making. Nature resistance. Maybe... I I, I mean, I should have somebody in the party get into herbalism. I feel like there's... Well, I, I guess I'll do master combat training. That's obviously the, the key one to do there. We got shield pummel. I guess we'll go ahead and we'll grab that. Uh, Alistair? Your con is low. No, I, I I have a taunt now. Actually, for you, we'll do combat tactics. 
I can't get into the next level of uh, taunt just yet. And for you, we'll do shield balance. And I can't level up Morgan just yet. Where's the skills at here? Need to figure out what kind of mage I want to turn her into. I've never done a shape-shifting mage in this game. I'd love to have a healer in the party. Maybe we give her a few healing spells, because that'll really, really help out. Right now, she's got some stuff in Frost. And she's got a little bit of spirit. And she's got these crazy spells. Anybody in chat know, is there a way to do like a full respec on a character? Because I would like undo like all of this. Oh, I should probably save, because we went through all that dialogue. Yep, let's go. And now we go to load the ring. I like the blood trail as you move. And I expect each of you to supply these men. We must rebuild what was lost at Ostagar and quickly. There are those who would take advantage of our weakened state if we let them. We must defeat this Darkspawn incursion, but we must do so sensibly and without hesitation. Your Lordship, if I might speak. You have declared yourself Queen Anora's regent and claim we must unite under your banner for our own good. But what of the army lost at Ostagar? Your withdrawal was most fortuitous. Everything I have done has been to secure Ferelden's independence. I have not shirked my duty to the throne, and neither will any of you. The Banorn will not bow to you simply because you demand it. Understand this. I will brook no threat to this nation from you or anyone. Antigon, please! Your Majesty, your father risks civil war. If Eamon were here... Antigon, my father is doing what is best. Did he also do what was best for your husband, your Majesty? Dun dun dun! Wake up, gentlemen. More travelers to attend to. <laughs> Led by an elf, of all things. Uh, they don't look much like their mothers. You know, uh, maybe we should just let these ones pass. Nonsense. Greetings, travelers. Highwaymen, preying on those fleeing the Darkspawn, I suppose. They are fools to get in our way. I say, teach them a lesson. Now, is that any way to greet someone? <laughs> a simple ten silvers and you're free to move on. You should listen to your friend. We're not refugees. What did I tell you? No wagons, and this one looks armed. The toll applies to everyone, Henrik. That's why it's a toll, and not, say, a refugee tax. Oh, right. Even if you're no refugee, you still got to pay.
Forget it, I'm not paying. Well, I can't say I'm pleased to hear that. We have rules, you know. Right. We get to ransack your corpse, then. Those are the rules. Uh, we could throw an intimidation here. Do you really want to fight a Grey Warden? Did he say he's a Grey Warden? Them ones killed the king. Traitors to Ferelden, I hear. Turn Logain put quite a bounty on any who are found. Great. But are them Grey Wardens good? I mean, really good. Good enough to kill a king. You have a point. Well, let's forget about the toll. We'll just leave you to your darkspawn fighting, king killing ways. You know, the Grey Wardens could use a donation. You don't say. They is really good, boss. Remember. Well, yes. Twenty silvers? That's all we've collected today. Um, I've changed my mind. And just when we had things settled. Yeah! <laughs> We gotta get these guys off the road anyway, otherwise they're gonna cause more problems. Uh, I did not set up Morgan's tactics yet. Ooh. Um, yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do with her. I guess I'm gonna throw her on support and tell her to stay at range. Did I lose my buffs? I think, uh... Back! I am your dead! You are close to Dang it, Alistair. I swear to God. Also, I'm going to rearrange my bar here just a little bit. Yes. Uh, Morgan, what are you doing right now? Let's focus fire. And let's heal. Go! As you say. Oh, there's a guy behind us. Ah, crap. I was not expecting this fight to be that difficult. Where shall I strike? Well, great. Oh, we got a blinky here. Damn it. <laughs> uh, first death. Wake up, gentlemen. More. Uh. Nonsense. Greetings, travel. Highway. They are food. How is that any way to greet someone? <laughs> A simple. What did I. Oh, right. Even if. Well, I can't. Right. We get to ransack your. Did he say he's a. Traitor. But. You have a point. Well, let's forget about the toll. You don't say. He's. Well, yes. 20 silvers? That's. And just when we had things settled. Okay. Oh, do I gotta reset up Morgan's tactics? Uh, yep. Uh, supporter on range mode. Okay. Uh, Alistair.
Actually, Morgan, you want to, like, back off? Need what? to fight shortly. <laughs> now you see true uh, power! Uh, what uh, about? Go! Uh, 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 Morgan, who are you on right now? It will be done. Alright. Concentrate on the bandit leader. Uh, that guy's dead, right? Alistair. Let's grab some glory! As you say. Time to run! Give me the big heel. You will not win! Now we get our hands down. You ask for it! Attack! All right. Cannot be defeated. We surrender. We're, we're just trying to get by before the dog spawn get us all. Goodbye. You're a criminal. Yes, I'm a criminal. I admit it. I apologize. Oh, I, I think. Can I actually recruit this guy? You'll follow my lead. I could use some soldiers. I don't recall this guy being a potential party member, but maybe he is. Mm, hand over everything you've stolen. Yes, yes, of course. The coins we collected are right here. Uh, just over a hundred silvers. The rest is in the chest we brought. I swear. Then start running and don't come back. Bless you. The dark spawn can have this place. You're darn right. A knight's note. Whoops. Uh, trap triggers. Very well. Is that all you guys got? Okay, let's save before we uh, go into this town here. Well, there it is. Lothering. Pretty as a painting. Ah, so you have finally decided to rejoin us, have you? Falling on your blade in grief seemed like too much trouble, I take it. Is my being upset so hard to understand? Have you never lost someone important to you? Just what would you do if your mother died? Before or after I stopped laughing. Right, very creepy. Forget I asked. Uh, what did you want to talk about, Alistair? His navel, I suspect. He certainly has been contemplating it for long enough. Oh, I get it. This is the part where we're shocked to discover how you've never had a friend your entire life. I can be friendly when I desire to. Alas, desiring to be more intelligent does not make it so. Anyway, I thought we should talk about where we intend to go first. I gotta say, uh, these two together as companions is hilarious. They're just constantly at each other. We should try and use these treaties, I assume. I agree. Have you looked at them? Uh, yeah, sure. There are three main groups that we have treaties for. The Dalish Elves, the Dwarves of Orzammar, and the Circle of Magi. I also still think that Arliman is our best bet for help. We might even want to go to him first. Uh, it's pronounced owl Eamon. Is there a way to contact the Grey Wardens? Short of leaving for Elden to seek them out, the only place to send word to would be Weisalpt Fortress. And that's thousands of miles away. <laughs> uh, what do you think, Morgan? Go after your enemy directly.
find this man Loghain and kill him. The rest of this business with the treaties can then be done in safety. Yes, he certainly wouldn't see that coming, and it's not like he has the advantage of an army and experience and... I was asked for my opinion and I gave it. If your wish is to come up with reasons why something cannot be done, we will stand here until the Darkspawn are upon us. Get ready for uh, this for the next 30 hours, chat. It's going to be amazing. Then we need to find these people. I can give you directions if you like. Uh, it's fine. Then you have a plan. Um, why are you leaving it up to me? Well, I don't know where we should go. I'll do whatever you decide. Now that is unsurprising. Aliman is a good man, but I don't know for sure he's where we should go. I'm not going to fight about it. All right, let's 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 just get going. Fair enough. Let's head into the village whenever you're ready. Okay. Why are our swords all frosty right now? What's, did, did she enhance our weapons? Is that what happened here? Uh, I forget. Maybe somebody in chat has the answer to this. Uh, the party size in this game, is it four or five? I'm forgetting. Like the max party size. Four. Okay. Well, cool, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I think with that, good solid five-hour stream today. Good start into Dragon Age Origins. Yeah, for those who uh, have never seen this game, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. We'll continue this uh, tomorrow at 1 p.m. Central. Get another solid five or so hours in. So, no. Uh, like I said, I haven't played this game in a long time. Uh, I didn't know how well it would hold up, and I think it's still a fantastic game. Uh, so far, it's great. Can't wait to keep going with this and, uh, and finish it and move on to Dragon Age 2. So, yeah, it does. It, it holds up great. I'm like, I'm surprised. After, you know, playing, you know, Baldur's Gate 3 and everything else that's come out over the last 10, 15 years, however long this one has, you know. I, I don't I didn't even remember off the top of my head when this one came out. I know it's been a long time. Again, it was a 360 game, so. Cool stuff, though. 2009. There you go. But yeah, if anybody wants a list of all the mods I'm running, uh, I can put that together and put it on Discord. It's probably the best place. Uh, just let me know or shoot me a message on Discord, however you want to do it. And yeah, I'll try and uh, put together a list. Uh, they're all on Nexus mods. Like I said, the, the big one is the Dragon Age redesign. Which uh, just makes the game look better. I'm using the No Helmet Hack uh, one... Six. And other than that, I would have to look and see what I all installed. Because I don't, I don't really remember everything. So, But cool stuff. But yeah, with that, uh, big thanks to uh, everybody who came out. Really do appreciate it. And yeah, like I said, we'll continue this tomorrow at 1 p.m. Central for the next one. So, hope you guys have a uh, fantastic rest of your day or evening uh, wherever you are in the world. And we'll see you next time. So have a good night. And we'll see you then. Bye.